Oh, why not get a VIP seat? You know, you can come sit next to your favorite commentator. And Most Zigis definitely. is here as well. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fun thing about uh... this, every single fighter has fought before. Yeah, indeed. All of these fighters have fought tonight. So. I think that's the probably the first time that that's ever happened. I mean, yeah, this is the art. We're starting to, you know, see people that are actually, you know, working their way up so slightly. There's no easy money in RBC at all, is there, my friend? Of course, you had all the headline fights of last RBC, the the big event going on. Definitely. Uh, who we have Gavet. sitting with us uh, going on. Meant to be uh, Gabriel. Who we have Gavet. 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 with us going on. Meant to be Gavet. Gavet. against Tam. Who we have Gavet. 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 going on. Meant to be against Tam. Who we have And, um, well, tonight we're just going to see inaugural IBF title fights as well, so... Gonna have to see. Interesting to watch. The time has come though. Most definitely, we're ready to go. Lights are out, we got we got Khalid, we got Asuka sitting next to us. Bro, come on. Guys, they're just sitting next to us. I'm your brother, bro, come on. We're out here repping for each other. And of course, as we I speak, next to us. Match. Next to us, we're the main guys. Yeah. Uh. Wait, Ossie, yeah. are you here, bro? Ossie, can we change seats? No. Boy, oh. you wanna sit? You wanna sit Khalid next to Asuka? You think that's a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like you. Not like that. But yeah, we you know, elbowing each other. <laughs> commentators need to sit each other, bro. Nah, we're we're, next, we're close enough. We can pass notes. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 Khalid, it's all good. British Bull, Beast Riley, Kenny Bomber Young. We're here for it tonight. Yeah, you got a problem with Khalid? No, 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 no. I love no, Khalid. But why don't you why don't you just go and challenge him to a match then? <laughs> what? You know, I'm sure Khalid would accept the match against you. I mean, who would want to see me fight Khalid here, to be fair? I'm I pretty sure everyone would want to see you fight Khalid. I, I, I cannot hear it from the crowd, bro. Uh, I cannot hear it from the crowd. They're kind of... A death a little bit. I mean, the amount of events you've commentated, you've probably gone, you know, death from the crowd. How loudly Cruzaro has been treated here in the past. Indeed. And speaking of which, first fight of the night. Here we go. Roberto Cortez Fury, El Tiburon, will be taking on Julius Ali. Eight rounds, heavyweight division, non-title fight. Coming up next. You got to look out for those hands of Fury. Most definitely. They're going to be the tool to success for him 100% tonight. 100% knockout rate. Can he keep most, that momentum going? Most terrifying thing about him. I think he's, he's very high ranked in his division. The heavyweights again having two matches tonight, I believe. I personally think whoever wins this will be getting an IBF heavyweight title shot next event. Because the only IBF title fight that is not going to be fought tonight is the heavyweight division for IBF. Yeah, so, the RBC world title on the line in the main event. Which means whoever wins this might be on one of the critical matches next pay-per-view, perhaps. Right, I'm going to go wash my hands. Yeah, always stay healthy, everyone. You know, avoid COVID-19 as much as you can. Right, we don't I'm want you all to be infected. I'm going to start singing happy birthday as loud as I can so you know I'm doing it right. Why? Whose birthday is it? That's what you're meant to do, isn't it? You're meant to wash your hands for as long as it takes you to sing happy birthday. Uh, that's the first time I'm hearing that. Sorry, bro. It's a very British thing, isn't it? Pretty much, I guess. Uh, Cruzaro, I feel like a lot would go wrong if you were singing whilst brushing your teeth. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's, the, it's just the new COVID thing. Uh, there you go, entering the ring now, it's all in. Pretty much of a copyrighted music, I guess. Julius Ali didn't even want to wait, and he's repping the Chelsea jersey. Coming out to this fight as well. Repping East, Lo sorry, West London. And then the next thing you would expect, this guy to come out on a City jersey. Some nice tunes here for our fellow man Fishy-san, Roberto Cortez-Fury. 
walks out to a standing ovation. He is ready for the fight. He waves. Excited to be here. Yes, Khalid. Uh, I cannot. I don't have admin, Khalid. I don't have admin. Uh, ask Raymundo. Oh, he's just got his Can fist someone... in the air. See, Khalid's very excited. Can't contain himself. Hands in the air. Uh, Put your hands up if you're an idiot. <laughs> there you go, Khalid. Oh, no. On the announce table. Oh no, put your hands up if you're an idiot. <laughs> nah, right. you offended Khalid so hard right now. That's fine, he wasn't listening. He, just more, he wanted to get refreshed more than anything. You're fighting ah. Grub. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Let's, just, okay. let's just focus Arthur's on the match side. in hand. Yes, yes, let's focus Arthur's on the match side. in hand. Here we okay? go! Here we go, it's fight night. Let's There's go. There's no need for us to fight each other. Good overhands to begin the fight. Counter attack. Big hooks. Huge stuff going on right now. Good overhand again. Missing the uppercut. Both sides blocking each other. Julius leans in for a hook. hook. Overhand. Another one. I think that was blocked as well. Most definitely. Both Fishy. fights are... The fighters are con uh, conservative at the moment. They're taking their time. And oh! Good shot by Tishy. In, most definitely. Oh, Julius. Overhand connecting. Both fighters taking big chunks out of their health pool right now. I do like the glove colors of Fishy. Nice oh, maroon. Yes. Maroon. Beautiful choice. Hides the blood. Um. Okay. We just know Grumpy is a suspicious guy at this point. <laughs> Well, you expect blood in boxing, right? Oh, good overhand by Fishy! Oh, big combo! Beautiful, beautiful from Fishy! Julius going for an overhand of his own. Didn't look like it connected. He did land a couple of punches beforehand, though. Shout out to Zidius for not knowing there's blood in boxing. I mean, come on. Grumpy! Did you have overhand! You're about Ooh. to get your seventh complaint, Zidj. Blood, blood is hurrah, most definitely. And tonight is the night of Kadir as well, so... You just have to, you know... Fishy's biding his time, careful. look at that. Yes, yeah, spilling blood is haram, yes. Ooh, Julius! Very big hit from both men there. But Fishy still with the advantage in health. I think we could see a knockdown in the first round as well. If this continues, ooh! Too late for a knockout in the first round. You'd usually want to get your knockdown in the first minute. We've seen it before. Most definitely. Ooh, both fighters launching in for overhands here. Fishy One minute remaining retreating. in the first round. Fishy retreating as he spins around. Some defense mechanism, perhaps. Fishy is a very defensive fighter, but that doesn't mean he can't pack a punch as well. He Most usually definitely. capitalizes on the ca on the counterattacks, as we're seeing here. According to Khalid, someone's going down before the round Good ends. Good overhand. Lunges forward. Fishy. Ooh! Another good hook by Julius. Most definitely. Overhand again, missing though. Oof. Both fighters are testing each other out for the first round. Fishy retreating. Seems to be working though. Most definitely, he, he needs to keep... Oh! Up. oh! Speaking of which, sleeps Julius! Big hit! With the first knockdown of the night! And he's back up with six seconds remaining. Ju not throwing a punch, Fishy. Most de definitely, and that's the end of the round one. End of the round, punch on the bell. One round down, seven to go, and we already got a first knockdown. This Fishy surely with the first of the night. Ten to eight, it's a KD, definitely. He's trying to keep his record, you know. He's got two knockouts under his belt already. Could definitely. go for a third. This win might even solidify Fishy's status as one of the big challenges. I don't think he's had a fight this long before as well. Indeed. If he wins, he's either going to be a title fighter, perhaps for either IBF title or the RBC Ring Magazine titles. I really love when people say si. Si. Because, no, because yes in Spanish has the little accent on it, so they're just saying if. Kind of, yeah. I mean, I, I love the Spanish language. It's kind of a yeah, sit. Un means unique it language, to be fair. Without sit. the accent. Without the accent, sit means... Oh. Yeah, C. C is yes. 
as Jacob said. Ah, uh, okay. Good shot I... by Fishy. Fishy's flying into this round. Okay, flying I'm going gonna... I'm gonna use the favorite word of everyone here. Ay, caramba! Ah, dreadful. Lo siento. <laughs> <laughs> Drake has the most broken Spanish you've ever seen. I haven't even heard, I even heard oh, of it. Oh, Fishy with a good hit there. <laughs> Julius hit and a magnificent hit with Fishy straight on the counter. Firing on all cylinders tonight. They're ready Uppercut for... by Fishy. There's a hook. Ooh, Julius Ali's struggling. He's only down a little bit of health, but that little bit could mean a lot in terms of the fight. Overhand! Knocks him! Come on, Fishy! Come on! Dirty! Very dirty! Fishy! He's making him lick his ass! That shit gay! Horrible. Why? Why was that an exc <laughs> Why was that an exclamation? Oh, good hits! Fishy's absolutely rocking Julius at the moment. Why? Why, why was that your commentary call out? I had to do it, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, Julius. Big hits by Fishy. Yes, Rebel. Yes. I, no, 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 no. I need to focus on the fight. Sorry, bro. Okay, jokes aside. Jokes aside. Before Raymundo sends me out of the company. <laughs> before you get another complaint. Oh, Ooh. these hits by Fishy are hard. Fish hook. Th this guy is not wasting any time. I think he's going to want to take it to heavy headliners oh, already. Doesn't want to waste time. Fishy. Fishy's really defensive, but at the same time. He's got the objectives and he's being saucy. Look, he's... Fish hook. His... Oh! He's down again. This is the second knockdown. And there you go. Bro, bro, stop. He's being <laughs> sus. This is I feel like, no, sorry, no, no, I feel no, no, like no. that's that's practically teabagging. You know in COD when they teabag people. Not even, yeah, I, but this is not even teabag, this is sus. This That's the exact same him. thing that happens in Call of Duty when you when you shoot someone down. He's shoving him down with his ass, yes, triple. There you go, the end of second round now. Oh, punch after the bell! Oh! That's fishy, a point of action. Fishy roleplay spitting into Julius' face, but Julius smacking him one up the side of the head. Fishy, dreads do not suit your your Spanish gimmick. I don't Julius see any... saying funny. Callate, callate. You shut up. Cabron, shush. I've been in a call with enough Spanish people to know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many Spanish words we're just going to have to learn. However, uh, however, he, he needs to put a double L. Okay, what is cabron? What is cabron, it's my cabron. friend? Cabron. Cabron? Yeah. Thought. <laughs> <Why is cabron? laughs> oh. I think it just means dumbass. Yo te mato tambien. Bitch like idiot. Oh. Oh. Trying to start the round with an uppercut. He's come flying out of his corner. Jakob, push. Before Five I hand. take your vodka. Ooh. Julius with a wild punch there. Uppercut. Not landing. Julius backing up now. Usually the tactic of fishy is to back up and wait for Julius to get exhausted. Julius switching tactic. Julius is swinging full fence right now, and he's not Good landing any hit as well. Fishy. Fishy's just... Fishy's going back, going forward, hitting the punch, then going back again. It's what you want to see. Showboating at this point. Look at that. He's turning his back on him. This is literally the equivalent. I don't care what you did right he's now. He's saying, hit me. <laughs> hit me, bro. Hit I me. dare you. Uh, he's being saucy tonight. You know, he's here to entertain the crown. He doesn't even care about winning at this point. Of course, he's feisty. Julius. Most definitely not. Oh. What up? What up, uppercut? Sorry, Julius thudding to the mat. At this point, Julius is getting walked over. This is like, you know, Alan Iris is step over right now, bro. Yeah. Boss telling him to back up, stop humping him. So he decides to walk over the body, the twisted carcass of Julius instead. He could speak English. Wow. Tell me now. Tell me now. Wasn't that Portuguese? Yeah, 
That's poetry case terminal. Or well, now. Since when did he have the transition it's termino. from Spanish? Well, termino means I finish. <laughs> or ter is it termi terminas? Yeah. Means you're finished. Either way, we're having some cultural mix up right now. Or terminado means finishing. Uh, so wait, does it count the same way for football as well? Terminado? Yeah. Okay, I guess. Uh, uh, terminado bueno means finishing brilliant or well, good. Yeah. Why does they the Mexican... put the, They put the adjective after. So, um, yeah, pretty much Fishy is dominating in first three rounds, in my opinion, but Julius Whoa. here... Oh, oh look down! Oh! You've jinxed him! I've kind of jinxed him, I, I agree! Under Exige's spell! There he goes! <laughs> I hate how he spells that. Kayate. It's meant to be a double L, but he, he puts the Y there. Let's hear from the crowd. Is Fishy choking right now? A little bit. Oh. Well, come everyone on. thinks of that. Guys, come on. <laughs> it's round three. He's still winning. Oh! oh. What a shot. Oh. Oh. Speaking of choking, man's, man's just got throat punched. It's He's done. Coming. He's done. Oh, it's over. Knockout. Knockout. That's it! It is all over! There you go, seeing is he choking? Can't means going to... It's the last word you say, is he choking? I love... I, I, I love that microphone, bro, look at this. You just get it out of his pocket. Yeah. And just, you know, talk... Do you know the, like, the batons, you just spread it out and, like, it just goes all the way? It's like that, you just <laughs> cut out the cord all the way to the top of the... <laughs> Magic flask, maybe, bro. Yeah, it is all over. It's your winner in round three with three seconds remaining on the clock. There's your third Roberto knockout. Roberto Cortes Fury, El Tiburon, takes the W. Fishy Fury. What a showing. Most Absolutely definitely. amazing performance. This fight got the blood boiling, and up next is one hell of a fight as well. The first title fight of the evening for IBF title fights. I think people are going to have to try really hard if they want to beat that performance. That's performance of the night. Oh, Definitely Fish potential. Is out, wait, wait, wait. Fish is calling out Kenny! Fish is calling out Kenny! You're next, Kenny. He just called out Kenny and Kenny's not even saying anything! You don't even have to speak Spanish to know what Kenny means. <laughs> no one calls anyone's name out in the ring. He's not thanking Kenny. He wants Kenny in that ring. And definitely, speaking of which, first title fight of the evening, Cruzaro, Legend Lorenzo, coming up next. Welterweight Division 12 round fight for the IBF Welterweight World Title. There you it go. is all coming. USA. And definitely, I was expecting this crowd to be actually like, you know, much more filled up considering Cruzaro's fighting tonight and he's representing PRS as well. So yeah, The United Kingdom versus USA fight as well, we've got to look intently on that. Indeed. Basically, whoever wins this fight loses their next fight to Khalid, says the champion himself. Uh, of course he was. he was, he was very strong against the likes of Clutch of Dragon. Most definitely. And Golden Boy versus How can you go against him? Golden Boy, Cruzaro versus the shooter legend Lorenzo. Both backgrounds in pro football. Well, we know quite a lot about that. Most definitely. Um, well, we're just going to have to see who's better in the ring. Doesn't matter if you're better at... Uh, Road football, all that matters is that you get that knockout down in the ring tonight or even a decision win. Definitely. And people are filling in right now for Kuzaro's fight. As Legend Pitch. on the ramp as we speak. People are filling in right now to help support his bro brother out. Legend Lorenzo walks out with a Real Madrid jersey. Part of the 1500s gang. 
Real Madrid is the best Spanish football club. I could agree on that, considering they have 13 Champions Leagues. I was speaking to Legend the other day, he doesn't know a word of Spanish. Even if you don't know Spanish, you, all you have to say is Ay caramba and you just win instantly. It's the argument winner, bro. Yeah. And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. I enjoyed my... Um, Your my potatoes. Dinner. What the... Oh, I'll see. Uh, unfortunately... Were they a bit crunchy? Unfortunately, they, uh, they're a bit crunchy. I had nah. the pork made up for it, though. Speaking um, of crunch, that, that knockout last fight was absolutely incredible. It was ruthless. You just sent well, it to God. I certainly am uh, upset that I missed that. There's um, three I seconds left of, uh, around th three. Wow. Well, less than half of the fight to go, obviously. We've got a lot of long fights this evening, which makes up for the, the fewer um, fights we have on the card. Of course, every fight from now on is potentially... 12 rounds. Of course, it is the same fight. Hold on! Ooh. Now, this Black is surely 100. We begin. <laughs> Let's go! Of course, the last fight night had exactly that, the same number boy. of rounds. Two, two boys wrapping each other. Piaris is very young, comes out. Cruzaro with Rebelling at his side. Revelink, of course, another prominent face in row football. Hi. Bro, you don't have a head on. What are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> Match seems a bit unfair. Kind of, kind of punching the air. I could Le punch legend the air, with bro. no chance of hitting an uppercut. Indeed. IBF World Title Fight. The very first title Look fight of the evening to crown the inaugural IBF Welterweight Champion of the evening. The purple gloves. Fight! Let's go! Blue gloves with red shorts. I couldn't agree more. It's sussy. Man doesn't know how to change his gloves. Cruzar, of course, repping all over. Legend! What Landing a hit! Big shot from Legend. Oh, oh, oh good oh, counter Cruzar shot. Cruzar follows back. a few seconds in as well. None of that, Gabriel. So many people repping Cruzar here. There's a significant lack of defending going on on Legend's part. Oh. Oh. Big shot by Cruzar. He's down to half. What is going on? Are we going to see a knockdown? Couldn't be as I'm bad as what happened to Detta. Horribly mistimed the block there. Roma knocked out. Oh! Ooh. Legend wasting so much Ooh. stamina you know here. Legend hit a very well, good overhand though. That, uh, yeah. You have to think it might be, uh, you know, the, the moment getting to him. Obviously, Could he's be on, a bit on... too late. Oh! oh good shot there. Ooh. However, oh, he's, Legend, he's again, back. he's pulling it back, he is, he's doing quite a good job after going down so quickly. Came out all guns blazing and it uh, seems like he's already uh, changed his strategy. Switch to the revolver. <laughs> Will he land the shots though? That's the question. He's landing these. Overhand, connects. Perhaps. Good shots by Legend, you know, are again just above him. Overhand, Cruzaro. Oh, never mind. No? I think Legend blocked that one because it didn't do a significant amount of damage. Very equal right now, but Cruzaro is... No, I think he Cruzaro's hit the overhand, it's so just that he didn't right land with anything else. Because there was a huge Ooh. health drop. I believe that he just missed most of the combo. Ooh, oh, good crunching good overhand. Legend. There it is! Oh, Cruzaro Ooh. hits a oh, massive one of his own. Legend didn't block that. Cruzaro is definitely... Relying on that overhand, he's waiting for it to charge up. He's, and it's working. You know, buying his time. Well, it does seem to be working. I was going to say maybe he used all up all of his stamina, but oh. yeah, there you go again. The overhand. Another just one. Bringing there legend down. Uppercut. Because I was pushing hard. Forty-eight seconds remaining of the round. Been, oh, we can uh, see a knockdown. He's been a lot better on the defense as well, in my opinion. I think legend, obviously, you know, he's he's been unable to block most of these oh. big shots. That was a very good overhand from Legend. He avoided that one. Yeah, he avoided the overhand on the return from Kazara as well. That's the thing, Legend's a bit hit and miss with his attacks. Well... You see, he, he, he yeah. etches back. He goes back really, really slowly. And then all of a sudden, you watch this, oh, his health goes shot. down massively. You see that? He was near well, he, level with Kazara again. And he just lets his guard slip. He didn't... He didn't time the overhand very well there. He missed the overhand and Cruzara caught him with his own one. There it is again. Overhand. Good. Wow. 
Ooh. Very good from Legend. I think Legend blocked it. I think Legend blocked that over. Yeah, and he hit one of his own. I think. I mean, you know, I'm impartial, but from what I can see, it looks like round one Cruzaro. Even though going into round two, they're quite even. In terms of health, I'd say Legend just a tiny bit lower. According to Khalid, this is a title win for Cruzaro, but still, he believes he's going to crush him later on. Maybe. Well, Legend is going to have to come out here with a strategic change, in my opinion, because something isn't working for him. Yeah, and he's going to have to, uh, you know, perhaps try and conserve his stamina and time his shots better. Never mind. Cruzaro is punching as well. He doesn't want to waste time. Good showing so far from the welterweight Cruzaro. Good amount Obviously, of blocking going on. Cruzaro. Oh. oh, another overhand. He's really he's landed like all but one of these overhands. Legend really just he can't read them. Yeah. He's done a good job to maybe block a couple, but he's just not negating all the damage. That was a good shot Ooh, from Legend. Yeah. With these overhand shots. Very good combination for Legend. Damage even if you block them. So Wait for it. Cruzaro's you know. charging it up. You can already tell what he's going for. There it is. Wow. Legend Cruzaro backing up. He actually missed this here. one. As you were saying, he needs to changes positioning a little bit and that's what he's done but still Cruzaro is leading Legend at the moment with the health I mean it helps that Legend's in the call yeah. <laughs> good overhand oh, oh that one connected Cruzaro turns with one of his own I think he, one that one. I think nice, he may have missed because Legend has got health flipping Legend yeah but he uh, he's he unable to Legend with it. he didn't get all of it because his health did go down I believe that was due to the combo after afterwards though Oh, legend. Potentially. Good overhand. Oh, wow. Oh, Big wow. Overhand. Legend's taking the advantage he, right now. He avoided it. Wow. Kuzaro could be going down anytime oh, soon. Legend. You know what? Round two going the other way. Well, I would agree with that. Uh, but there's fairly even on health. Could, yeah. could uh, you know, all it takes is one big power shot. Overhand. Legend misses with the hook. This is so far the bottom knife for me. They're very equal. The legend slightly lower now. Legend needs to keep his cool. I mean, it's, this is the thing. It's a 12-round fight. You know, we're going for the and again. Legend's oh, down. He's down. Big overhand. Legend needs to watch out for Cruzaro. Cruzaro does this thing where he doesn't punch for a couple of seconds, and then he goes for the overhand. It's very predictable, but not if you don't know about it. Well, Cruzaro, I mean, he's you know. a imagine Superior. <laughs> Good overhand. He did the exact same thing again. Legend not reading oh, any of these. Trying to fight back into it, though. Here. But you have to think, the psychological advantage for Cruzaro, knowing that virtually everyone in the arena is chanting his name. You know, they've come out in their masses to support him. You have to think that's having an effect on Legend. It's one it of the upsides be. to being so charismatic. Against one hell of a crowd as well. Considering they're one of the toxic, well. most toxic people I've ever seen in my life. Well, oh, and they're going oh, for it! Cruzaro laying the shots in, Legend, now. Mm. He's taking the dominance so far, and as we approach the end of round two, with only seven seconds remaining on the clock at the moment, and counting down. Cruzaro just missed that. That's the well, end of the round two. Their corners, I mean. Look at that. Legend. Not a thing, unofficially, 2-0 Cruzaro. Legend did very well at the start of the round, but crumbled towards the end of it. Ooh. He's got the health disadvantage again. If I was Legend here going into round three, I'd be thinking, well, I've shown that I can pull it back. So whatever he was doing at the beginning of the round that he wasn't doing at the end of the round, he just needs to try and maintain that. I did notice a, a bit of a change in his style, but then he, you know, he kind of went backwards and started throwing bombs and missing again. Yes, uh, also due to the stamina, of course. Look on the way, well, round three. And oh, oh big hit! Big, big hit! hit Cruzaro. Legend Shit! turned out of his overhand there. Legend, Legend threw an overhand and turned away from it, which meant he didn't hit. Legend slightly down to he, half if he now. Turned, if he turned the other way, put his hips into it, he would have got all of that. Is this going to be a vibe He's check for Legend here? Good shot by Legend, though. Problem is, and we've seen this time and time again, is when there's such a health advantage, the person with the advantage becomes a lot more willing to take some shots in yeah, return for dealing forward. damage. Could Legend turn it around though? There's that. Good shot by Legend again. 
Legend still lower though, Cruzaro not giving him the chance to heal. Legend go for the hook, he's down. Oh, and he's down again. Cheeky jab oh, after the hook. I mean, he get back really up though. He surely will. He does pop back up. Showing, definitely uh, both these men showing championship spirit. Both are pushing a lot. Overhand by oh, Cruzaro missing. Really missing the upcut as well. He caught him with something there in that exchange because Legend was just, you know, not returning. I believe it was the uh, the beginning shot. Yes. Shot at the beginning. Just Legend trying to parry the rest yeah. of them. Problem is, Cruzaro, in this, in this scenario... Accurate. Cruzaro's there's, there's chasing across the ring. Difference here. Yeah, what, you then see it going I mean, the other if way. If you imagine in this situation, what, what do you do? Because if he, if he runs in, he's going to take more damage... I I'd I'd completely refresh the fight. You know, you've got you've got about mm. eight rounds left after after round four. And uh oh, yeah, well, you gotta spend the entirety of round four trying to heal up. Mm. I reckon he's gotta go a bit more defensive. Well, I mean, uh, you know round four. You've got to take it round by and, round. Uh, oh, yeah, well, you gotta spend the entirety of round not, four trying oh, to heal up. Again. Again. Another knockdown and he will lose. Go a bit more defensive. Well, I mean, Huge shot by the you know, You've got to take it when you get out there. Uh, okay, you know, you've got to spend the entirety of round four trying to heal up. And he's lunging right off the bat as well, taking huge risks. I think Legend's just given up on the defensive approach. Wants to deal as much damage as he possibly can. I agree, but he's, he's you know, he's not going to win if he, if he does that. I don't know. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to say. Take it round by I think round. he's thrown winning out the window at this point. Well, he's not gonna he's not gonna win this round for sure, but he could definitely win the fight if he. Yeah, the can block reset. and the overhand again. Legend with an overhand of his own there. Ten seconds remaining of the third. Lunges forward, hook. big hooks. Ooh. Legend, and that's it. Round three. End that's of the round. It. Legend didn't get the extra punch in. He could have hit on the bell. He is able to deal damage. We we can see that from him. It's just it seems like Kazara has a much more well-rounded skill set because his defense is uh, at this point in the fight been far superior. His his movement in terms of dodging has been you know pretty much on point, and also his um, his fight IQ. You know he knows that he can afford to take some shots because he's he's dealing damage. Yeah, he knows when to back up and he knows when to land the overhand because he's been doing so much damage just with that one overhand move that he keeps repeating. Well, I mean, if, if, if you're a legend in this fight, you've got to, like you were saying, you've got to try and reset. You've, he, he can't... If he goes in and tries to exchange like he is, he's getting caught all the time and that's because Krizawa is not bothering to defend. He's at such a health advantage. There's just no point in him trying to block because he can deal far more damage. He's got to do legend very well. Legend run this and round. try and try and again. Deal. Oh, legend hits. Good lads, shot. some good hits on Cruzaro. Legend dealing all his damage early, getting hit though. Oh, Cruzaro's punching his way in there. Goes down to orange. Here. This round. He might put him to sleep. That's also a possibility, but legend is fighting back. Legend Doesn't want to waste time here. Oh, we're going slowly to red now. Overhand connecting, dropping him down into the low orange. You got a feel for legend. It's it's the end is near. Oh, overhand again by oh, Cruzaro. This, this has to be it. Cruzaro in the final stretch of his victory now. Collecting the IBF title right now. Legend's just covering up at this point. You got to think well, there's no recessing from Orange. Front. Turning He's his back to Legend, back telling him to put punch him. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, what an overhand. He's going to get back up. Just turning. And he He's will up. get back up. He, wow. He's still going. I don't know if he can survive another knockdown. And we're only in the fourth Oh, Cruzaro. He's down into the red. This is... Oh, this close is right really, now. Uh... Got to be nerve-wracking for the fighters. Ooh, another another overhand. Oh, another again. Cruzaro, I keep saying that overhand Cruzaro. is so deadly. Good hook. Overhand again by Cruzaro, lagging a small bit, though, missing it. Yeah. 
The lag caused him to miss it. Good hook. Cruzaro oh, about to go for his oh, own hand. You can see Cruzaro, he's he's not using any moves. That's how you can tell it's coming. He's not going to try and land it now. He's getting close. Here we go. There it is. Blocking. And then... There it is. The what? overhand. Overhand. I think uh, he, he didn't get it, all of that one, though. Yeah. Legend is uh, on more health than he had when he started the round. Yeah, he's, he's starting, to, starting to heal up. We said this is what he needs to do. Oh, he oh. landed uh, something there. I didn't see... What yeah, it was, legend though. Because he was uh, facing Can't away from the camera. It looked a, like it might have been taking a bit cut. more damage. I think the tides are changing a little bit. Legend's building back up, and Cruzar is overhand. His time. Oh, oh, there's a the knockdown. Oh, down again. There it is. That has to be it. Is, is it over? Will he get up? It's very marginal on the last one. Is it over here? Legend oh, and that is it. Oh, Cruzar is a champion. Cruzar, he had the fans behind him. What the fans wanted to see. He's gonna enjoy one oh, hell of a belt as well. It's very, very unfortunate. Very one-sided fight there. And you know, Legend, he he had what it took, but he just didn't utilize it all. Most definitely, and well, you know, know, there's stages in that fight. Like the beginning of the second round, you thought that Legend was gonna have some sort of say in this match but Cruzaro just came right back in it towards that end of the second round and from there it was history most definitely well, and the new uh... yes indeed this is the inaugural IBF welterweight champion of the world golden boy Cruzaro definitely Legend a much deserved leaving. victory <laughs> look at I this Kalida Cruzaro um... Kalida Cruzaro trading trading words over here Do you think Cruzaro well, will call out Khalid and make a super fight here? Well, that seems like the move, both 4-0. Four, four oh. Both arguably staking their claim to be the number one pound for pound. The winner will uh, most certainly be the top welterweight in RBC. And indeed, Cruzaro doesn't want to waste time. He wants to take it to Khalid. And he wants to smoke as well. Let's hear what he has to say. I'm going to get a drink. Yeah, go get yourself some from Juice Bar as well, bro. Hey, yo, shout me out. Shout me out, homeboy. Yeah, it's my G. Let's go. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, call him out! Is he gonna call out Khalid? Sorry. Is he gonna break sorry. Khalid out? And definitely he will! Super fight! Super fight! Three titles on the line! You stick like your guy's like bonus just... Oh cool. my god! Oh my god! Holy shit. We've got racial slurs being thrown around and everything. I could take Khalid out right now. He doesn't want to waste time. He wants him in the ring right now. He wants this him in the ring right now. Very, this is a very heated rivalry. I, I, oh, I am happy that we're going to see a title unification at least. I mean, RBC ring and IBF all on the line. Well, if... if if, if Cruzaro's entourage aren't, care, aren't, aren't careful, they're going to get banned. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of uh, lines being crossed. Uh, people crossing lines, are they? They very much are. I feel like oh, if... Oh, and uh, uh, Real Madrid shot in the crowd for the of things. Uh, not Real Madrid, Barcelona. I feel like you got to know who can take it. Well, I mean... Um, in order not to offend know. anybody. Posing to Khalid, showing all glory of its belt. Who's the better champion here? I mean, I would say they're having a face-off, but Cruzaro doesn't oh, have one. No, you made it smell in here. Oh! Terrible.
Trashy KO ratio. You have to think that at some point these these two are gonna get separated because I really Wait. think they're gonna take the blows. Grandma, I wouldn't be like yours. She's long gone. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This oh. is one of the most heated rivalries I've ever seen here. <laughs> mate, mate, mate. Fuck this, this, this T9 me guy. Where's my microphone? Yeah. Crowd, crowd, crowd. Let's hear it. Sheesh. The T9 me guy just said two foot is man. Still carrying on. Yeah. Yeah, fine. With these fighters, they can cross boundaries with each other. If both men can take it as much as they dish it. Well, uh, you know, I'm not so sure. There are some lines that, are, that have been crossed in the past and present, and you know, most definitely. And speaking really of which, next title fight of the evening: Ace Jones versus Rebel Brook. Oh, my bad. Ryan Karen versus the Beast from the East, Abdullah, coming up next. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I was looking at the kite fight card on my... Yeah, he's from Saudi Arabia, Kamaz. He's representing the holy country. What do you think of this matchup we've got coming up? You know, we've got two guys who are both... Uh, both <laughs> oh, I, I do like I, I do like Abdullah, but I would also like uh, Ryan too. They're both great fighters. But I mean, well, we got number three versus number four. Yeah, so, uh, and I think we could say that the arena is kind of with Ryan Karen at the moment as well. You know, got a lot of friends here, a lot of supporters. Not sure if we can expect a knockout though. Definitely, both men are on zero percent knockout rate so far. This this fight might be going all the way as a twelve round fight too. It's only going to have to find well, out. I, uh, you have to think. Maybe it'd be nice to see a fight that uh, is exciting as it is long. You know, all the long fights we've seen so far have been fairly one-sided, and you know, with with all due respect to the competitors, not been the most entertaining of bouts. You know, we we cast our minds back to uh, obviously RBC one with Robert Lopez versus the current champion uh, Jacob Biankowski. Indeed, but I you mean, know, it, it'd be nice to see a long fight that uh, is even, evenly matched. And I'll see. see. With in all, with in all honesty, I personally do not like to see very long fights. I do like more of a knockout type of a guy. You know, I do like to see the action directly rather than you know keeping a bit more conservative approach. I would rather just see the goddamn punches land completely and you know knock someone out cold. Yeah, that's the best yes, way to finish well, the fight. I, I think the community would also agree with me. I mean, who doesn't like a knockout rather than a decision? Come on, man. Well, we do like seeing the uh, the slugfests. You know, there's nothing more exciting than a you know one or two round fight where both guys are just leaving it all in the ring. But you know, we're we're already this is the halfway point of the evening, and it would be a shame if it were to be over. You know, no sooner than it had started. Of course. After this, we've got um, Ace Jones versus Rebel Brook, hopefully, and Beast Riley versus Kenny Bomber Young. You know, you they're both fights that could could end very quickly, because we've got uh, Ace Jones is known for his knockouts, as is Kenny Bomber Young. I mean, his his name's Bomber. I mean, for a reason I, as well. As well. Before we even get to the fights, I want to hear from the crowd. Who's with Kenny Bomber Young? See that? A lot of people. Uh, huge okay. supporters of Kenny. Who's with Beast Riley? That even. And speaking of which, sorry to cut short, but here it is. The man himself, the Beast from the East, is making his entrance to the arena. Repping the Saudi Arabia flag on top of our screens here. I think we're having some song issues at the moment. Could be copyrighted perhaps. Uh, and here he comes. 
Oh, and he's coming out with a that whole... Is, that is a lot of people. He, he's coming out with a whole convoy here. It's a lot of people. Abdullah no stepping in. Too. Most definitely. So many people here out repping Abdullah, who could be a future champion tonight. And so could also be Ryan Karen. Well, you have to All think when you've got um, when you've got a, an entourage that big, there is added pressure. You know, he's got a lot of weight rest on his definitely. shoulders right now. We're just only going to have to find out. Will Ryan Karen put him to sleep, or will Abdullah take the title home? It's definitely going to be an interesting one. I do think we're going to be seeing a more reserved performance from these two gentlemen. Obviously, mentioning the uh, lack of knockouts across the board. Indeed, but you know who, who knows? We're always there's a different expectation on the fight nights. It's going to have to find out. And he goes out on a full Liverpool kit. I mean, who supports Liverpool here? That is bold. Like that. that is bold. Really not, um, not warranting a good reaction. Don't blow me up, okay. says Ryan Karen and Cruzara out here. Showing the IBF title that they're going to be fighting for. That was a, a very bold entrance from Ryan Karen. And Bob says Ryan Karen is kind of a sussy move. But I have to, I have to say, we could be. Uh, he better hope he wins because we all know you can't fire a champion. The crowd is being very, very racist towards Abdullah right now, and Mike Curzo says, "Abdullah, you're gonna get sent back to Libya." Mm. Very, very racist so far, really? crowd. They, they need not to fix up. Not something you want to draw attention to. Exact I don't want to draw said. attention to, sorry, but I mean, you oh, know, well. I know, but the thing is, we need to, yes. you know, fix as a community, if you're I allowing mean, such things. What do you expect from PRSs? Well, precisely, we all know PRS is without a doubt one of the shittest uh, road soccer feds ever created, so that mm. obviously does, you know, warrant that, the kind of reaction. That will start one hell of a conversation. That, that, that will start fights, in my opinion. Good, that's what I, we're here I for. Agree. I mean, it, it is a boxing card after all. Okay, fights that are not in the boxing ring. Better now. <laughs> well, on the pitch. Not on the pitch. I mean, Probably we all have something else to commentate. I mean, I'm commentating for nah, it. No, like, huge respect to uh, huge respect to him, you know, shouting us out. What? 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 Why is... Wait, wait, wait. Why is Ryan Karen wearing a bra? Why is he wearing a bra? Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> you got mad tits, bro. <laughs> Just extra protection, I guess. <laughs> These light heavyweights. No glove touch. No glove touch. These guys going straight at it after such a. Have we ever seen a glove touch? Free fight conversation. Ooh, and Abdullah, landing some good shots. Um... Ryan Karen's are taking a little bit of a aggressive approach so far, but it's getting, he's paying it back as well. I mean. Abdullah landed a few good punches there. Well, Ryan Karen is down on the health, albeit only slightly. So, you know, the start of the fight in Abdullah's he's favor. He's taking it back, now, now Ryan Karen's got the health advantage. He's spinning to land hits as well, which is kind of an odd tactic. Yes, Jakub. Well, it could, be, uh, it could be a tactic or it could just be showboating. Yeah. Uh, they're both spinning. Um, we did think this would potentially be a shit fight, but uh, I did not expect that to happen in round one. Would you, would you count that as going no defensive? Scope. Both fighters are trying to hit 360 no scopes. I would not count oh. that as going... Oh, and here they go. I, I would not count that as going defensive. I would count that as being a vagina. I mean, what? Ryan's being whittled down. What? <laughs> Being a vagina. Hmm. Oh, Ryan taking a heavy shot well, there, but Tula taking one in return. Pussy. Stop. Ooh. Speaking of which, Khalid is not even wasting time. He's still taking shots at Cruzaro. Off the ring as well. He says both these fighters have the Cruzaro syndrome. They can't knock each other out. Wow. I mean, 
I really do hope we're not in for uh, uh, you know a waiting game here. But the problem is when it's been such a heated, you know, with all due respect to the the guys in the ring, I don't think we're really uh, focusing on what they're doing, but more what was said beforehand. You know, we we really considering this is something that RBC has had had problems with in the past. You know, people will call me a hypocrite for talking about it, but lots of lines were crossed, and I um, think they need to be careful. Abdullah speaking too much. I don't think you should be speaking when you're in the ring, ring young man. Both men's health getting well, whittled the thing down that I slowly. Get he's telling him to stop blocking, which which seems like a, an interesting proposal in a boxing match, of all, of all things. That almost sounds to me like telling a footballer to stop trying to score goals. Stop shooting, yeah. I think he's trying to stop defending, more like not scoring goals, but... Stop defending, yeah. Either way, yeah. That's the end of the round. And that that round felt like felt like an hour. A lot of spinning going on, I have to say. You have to think they're going to make it hard for the judges. See that, if, you, if your doctor tells you you only have three minutes to live, whack that first round on. Boys, with, with in all honesty, even though I want to keep the attention on this fight, Khalid and Cruzaro are still taking shots at each other off the ring. And they're like, yeah. no, they, they don't wow. want to wait, I think, for the next pay-per-view. They might as well fight right now. At There's this a point. lot of people still on the ring apron. Cruzaro and Khalid standing very close play. to each other. Of course, you got no clout in the middle with his big muscles trying to break him apart. Definitely, bodyguard built well, like Abdullah. a... <laughs> Abdullah's claiming that they should end the match match quickly. It feels bad for the people waiting. Well, potentially we may see a bit more of a exciting round two. Oh, good overhand Both start the round. Both men each other in the ring. More you want to see. Oh no, Ryan. Ryan's the one that's initiating the spinning. Oh, I'm throwing everything. Oh, you punch the oh. overhand. I thought, was, I thought he was going to miss that. I can't lie. Is he going to go for a spin again? He is. I feel like the spin at this point from Ryan. The spin isn't being reciprocated. Abdullah's actually changed gears here because Johnny's twin is still spinning. But Abdullah's just going right for him. Not playing any more mind games. Going straight for the punches and it's working. Good hook there. Oh, and Ryan's answering with one of his own. big overhand. He got all of that. Very good shot by Abdullah. He's now retreating, maybe measuring Ryan. Karen still spinning. Abdullah's definitely. He seems to me, as we uh, approach the halfway point of this round, he seems to me to be the more technically gifted fighter. Definitely in a better position oh, so Karen. far. Charging when Ryan's charging in with. No tactics, in my opinion. He's just going in and then expected to land a few hits. And uh, he's kind of having... Well, uh, he does land a few hits. He's having mixed success, I would say. Pays off about half the time, but when it doesn't pay off, those are big shots that you're absorbing from a builder. He's actually asking for him oh, to uh, punch him in the spot. Look at this. I noticed that will make you... Fairly even health. Fairly, fairly even health thus far but um Johnny uh, excuse me Ryan Karen did go down to about 80 near the beginning of the round so uh credit to him to come back however it doesn't bode well on the scorecards oh. and there he is again heavy shot big shots from Abdullah speaking of overhand. which we are being streamed at the moment shout out Notorious Jones Jr. for streaming the fu uh the evening for all of us of course one of my fighters Johnny's absorbing mm. small punishment, but then dishing mm. out a large one. He slipped the overhand. A few punches. Oh! Abdullah, Abdullah seems yeah, to be more dominant than the really movie. Is Abdullah's trying to chip away at Ryan. Ryan's going for these big combos, oh, gassing out on the stamina. He hit the moment Ali spin. Did you see that? Oh, there's Johnny down on the mat. Oh, there he oh, goes. That that left. Down. That's going to feel good. He's back up. He's back up! Ten seconds left of the round. That must have felt good. You know, to get the first knockdown in the fight is a huge psychological advantage. Now, 
you know, Ryan the, Cohen has to know he's behind in the fight at the moment as things stand. Not just that, but this means Abdullah is getting even closer to the title too. A few more knockdowns like this and he might be oh. wearing the gold around his waist. See this Abdullah just chipping away at Ryan, but Ryan trying to go for explosive power, gassing himself out. Abdullah absolutely swinging for him and it, it's paying off. Well, uh, Johnny, uh, with a very bold statement there, saying he does not care about the fight. Look at That's this. the kind of thing you want to hear. He should be caring about typing during the match. I've been doing the match and Abdullah well. has full advantage of this. <laughs> Ryan I think he may have signed his own death wish here. I, I, I'd oh, say it's more of a guy. verbal agreement. This might even be <laughs> over the whole thing. And Abdullah could just... his first knockdown ever in RBC. Yeah, uh, he looked neither down man. Down. He's rallying the crowd as well, says, let's go. Okay, no, no, I lost my respect for you, bro. This man's saying, gotcha hat. Johnny Austin, I said, gotcha hat. No, 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 no. Gotcha hat. Uh, get out of here, Jake Paul fan. Get out of here. Oh, Johnny oh, down he again. Down. Oh, he's put him down again. Oh, Under half you You're about to get knocked out, my uh, my friend. Gonna get that knocked down. Abdullah did, did certainly not let him check his ping. <laughs> Gotta get that knocked out. Ooh. Abdullah, got your hair. More like got your chin. That was a huge uppercut. Yeah, he's taking away the chin, bro. Oh. <laughs> I think he's chin got a bit to cushion the blow a bit. Considering Ryan's the verbals, coming back on the HP, yeah. though. He's coming back. Oh, big overhand. But of course, he's had time to again, heal since he's been point. on the floor. Boys, I think I, I think want we need to, to make this... It's around to spill blood. Well... I, I want to make this uh, clarified. I think uh, Ryan's losing because he's wearing a bra tonight. I don't know what happened when he selected this outfit, but... No, women can be good fighters too. Mm. I mean, man wearing a woman outfit to win. That's you sussy. Know. That's sussy. You have to think, perhaps he's angling for a shot at the uh, the woman's title after this. Because it's not going his way thus far. He could potentially uh, drop down Big a couple shot. of divisions, Abdullah considering he can't down below beat half. any real men. He's beaten two. Well, he's beaten two, but uh, I said real men. And unfortunately, he did beat uh, a bunch of nobodies who, um, you know. Muhammad Ali Movember. Movember, bro. That, that's some... <laughs> Movember. Oh, oh what? Oh, wow. <laughs> Why did you have to knock him down on that sentence? Wh why did he? Wait, 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 wait! Oh, he's back up. He's he back knocked up. him down in November. November is in full swing. Can he get the TKO this round? You think? In the middle of May. I'm gonna knock him into November. Yeah, M November. That's a and new he month. Might not wake up until then. Johnny again. I think he's typing. Ryan has a. Uh, Given up from the looks of things, and he's being. What is this? Oh my this goodness. is he's definitely given up. This is like, sus, bro. Like, Abdullah was like a lab. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I think perhaps he is trying. Abdullah to, was uh, moving him, yeah. He may be he trying was... to con the referee here. Of course, we Looks saw that like before with moving. Khalid's fight. Oh, oh Johnny's oh, down again. Oh, and he's down again. That's it. The fight is over. GG. Oh, Abdullah. But he, 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 uh, but. Oh, and he's out! It's a KO! Yeah, it's, it's going to be a suspension. He's go being... Bomb. Uh, go bomb some on This guy is being completely sure. right. That's a suspension, bro. That's well, a suspension. Um, Ryan, what is that, man? What is that? Unfortunate finish to the fight. A very bad, bad re uh, reputation here. Anyways, Gigi, I don't think that that should follow. Um. Ryan Karen going against all the rules that were set by RBC. Mm. And, um... He and unless he was uh, talking about Kenny Bomber Young, don't think he was. Wow, that that is a possibility. He sh By the way of knockout, it's a victory for the beast from the east. Abdullah both, with an unknown surname. Both men have ears. Abdullah calling for a mic. He's an orphan. Oh, that's sad, bro. Can we get an F for my man over here? He's the champion. He made it. And the new, yes indeed, IBF Light Heavyweight World Champion, the Beast from the East.
and his team rush in to celebrate with him. What a victory you know, here for Apala. I'm not one to, uh, you know, worry about this kind of thing, but that has to feel good for Abdullah considering what Ryan Karen said before the fight. Definitely. Speaking of which, my team fucking won. Let's go. <laughs> yes, bro. Come on. Yeah. Got to feel good. Sorry, it's like this. Uh, do you know what oh, a proper natural race is, bro? Oh, he's calling out. Wait, he calls out Tams! On from one British wow. fighter down that to another. Gone. The man who famously one comes one out one with one the flag. Fighter. I mean. Of course. We're going to have Tams to see what's coming up next. You never know, though. This could work, bode well for Tams King if he's able to dethrone Gabriel on the second time of us, King. He knows well, Abdullah the best wants it. Apparently. Me? We'll see the best commentator, according to Abdullah. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's nice to get some love for once. Uh, <laughs> I mean, who said you weren't oh. loved, bro? Who said you weren't loved? Uh, Let's go, Aussie, bro. True, 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 true. Man started taking things seriously, well, and now he's getting them compliments. I, I think I got more compliments when I... Uh, when I was taking it less seriously, but unfortunately, I did uh, also get suspended. Injure my penis. It, it, uh, it was a penis injury that <laughs> um, set set me out for a couple of weeks. Fair enough. Everyone knows that's where the voice box is situated. All right, coming up next, Ace Jones yeah. versus Rebel Brook, Ooh, twelve yeah. rounds, middleweight division, IBF middleweight title on the line. Hello. Oh. We are so certainly going to have to uh, very interesting thought to say the least. He will no doubt reclaim his number one spot in the pound for pound ranking and have a title to show for it this year. Could get his uh, fourth knockout as well. Don't count out the other man there. You don't know what Rebels pay for. Unfortunately, due to contact disputes. contact disputes. What's again. going on around here? Oh. We may be having a replacement here. Yeah, he is, uh... is this going to be a replacement? Where's Rebel? Beast Riley is not going to be competing Beast in the main Riley. event. Oh, wow. That's Hold out of a title fight. Big shot. Are we going to get a new oh, IBF heavyweight title fight? Is, is this going to be an IBF title a, fight? Uh, Fishy going to pull a... Uh... <laughs> we'll fight a replacement. We'll fight a replacement. Fight a replacement. Fight a... Poor Kenny. Do it for the IBF. The guy sitting next to us knows a lot about oh, replacements. For the IBC Ring Magazine heavyweight titles. It's a replacement. Oh, no, no, no. You've got to feel uncomfortable with having a replacement. You don't know who you're fighting. You don't know anything oh, about well, I know how that feels. I know You've how had that it twice within the last week. I don't think it will be like a replacement yeah, type. I don't think he will be taking his belt. I think he's taking like an impromptu. What was it? What do you call that? Uh, the uh, title owners. There's like two title owners. And they interim. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Yes. I think he's fighting for the interim title as well. Well, uh, I, uh, based on what the chairman just said, it would seem like the, uh, he's fighting for the real thing. Since uh, our heavyweight champion has walked out. Real thing, bro. Or interim. That's the issue, bro. I mean, Rebel didn't fight at all. I think it is for the end of the title. It's, it's the real thing. It's, that's the thing. It's for the, uh, for the main belt. Is he a contract is strict? Okay. Oh, no. Left to his friends, left so it's just for the actual title! It is for the actual title! Sorry, but there won't be for the interim. Nothing was even said about the interim. Yeah. Actual title no, no, no. on the line in the main event here tonight. In order That's the only way to do it. Both fighters with knockout histories. Seventy-five percent knockout history. Good record for anyone to have, let alone two fighters combined. Indeed, and we're only here to find out what's going to happen next. Ace Jones versus Rebel Brook. Both I'm undefeated. I'm here to win. Ooh, nice beam here. I think everyone walks into this here tonight undefeated. 
pretty much, and some people are leaving uh, with it. You are right. Well, we we yet to have a, a draw in any fight of, of note, so you know, it'll right. be interesting to see that. But let's hear it from the crowd. How do you think of the event so far, everyone? We're halfway through. I'd like to hear your, uh, I'd like to hear your predictions as well. I, I, I try and remain impartial, but um, I'd like to know what the fans think of the uh, the upcoming fight. Who's Indeed, really? let's hear it for the predictions. Who's with Rebel? Rebel Brook. We got Rebel Goat being being spammed a lot. Seems like he's got a bit of support here, but uh, who's with Ace Jones? Of the support, who's with Ace Jones? Everyone. I don't see anyone with Ace Jones at the moment, so it's kind of a issue here. Well, you know, uh, what I was uh, what I was about to say is, regardless of support, I mean, Ace Jones has won twice as many fights, and he's got three times as many knockouts as his opponent here tonight. You know, regardless of support, he's definitely the favourite on paper. Obviously, Most former definitely. number one pound for pound definitely will reclaim that spot if he wins here tonight. Um, you know. Definitely an incredible fighter, one of the best the promotion has to offer. Cannot count out Rebel Brook, but he's definitely got his work cut out for him here. As we await for the entrance of both fighters. And here it comes, Rebel Definitely repping the um, Rosaka side of RBC. Definitely. Everyone except Rebel out the ring and Cruzero will be waiting outside. Cruzero obviously uh, cannot read English. Nor can Bugatti. Nor can Danny. And he's got Negan in the ring as well. I don't think anyone here just cares about Raymundo's uh, orders at the moment. It does so many people are siding with Rebel at the moment in the ring. Rogatti. He just looks like the friendliest um, person. Can he... he does. I mean, he's dressed as Negan from The Look Walking Dead, in case you... Look at the bat on his back. Rebel special, huh? Does he? Does this mean he's a special kid? Rosario trying to um, steal some of the spotlight. It would seem. Yeah, Waiting on the apron with his belt. Jose Mourinho is the special one. Gabriel, you're a nasty bastard. Maybe this is homage to that. Oh, some dog is well, going on in the background. Someone, someone's having a dog problem. It would sound like my dog. I don't know why she's upset, but I'm going to go and refill my drink as we await Ace Jones. Uh, I may potentially go and have to go AFK for a little bit, but I will be back. Okay, let's ask the crowd. Dog or cat? Anyone? What would your, your oh, favorite right. animal? A lot of dog people here tonight. Most definitely. And someone says fishy. Fishy is your favorite animal. animal. Fishy is your favorite animal, bro. I'm a lizard person myself. Woof woof! <laughs> Rather have a gecko than a dog or a cat. F f who would have fishy as their pet? Come on. I think we're getting into some uh, territory that we don't want to cross. You know, human trafficking is uh, I illegal. Like any, yes. You go off. Uh, you go off. Deaf, and you hear. Oh, did you hear me woofing? Oh, oh, uh, Kenny. The talk was about the pets, that's why. Someone said fishy. 
that that's the issue. Bro, Kenny, come on. I'm talking about Oh. Oh, you were thinking Gabriel, I'm drinking I'm drinking some right now. Dude. And here he comes, Ace Jones. Pump up the juice bar, can I? Big met with an outpouring you know, hatred here. What a boo. Most definitely, and people are swarming here. Oh, look at this! A crowd fight! A crowd fight! Look at this! And here comes Ace Jones. It's, 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 it's a brawl! It's a brawl here! We need some order and stuff here. We need some security. <laughs> this is a brawl here right now. They've invaded the ring. Make me want to get involved. Bro, why is Pigeon God doing the hacker? In all, fa in all fairness, <laughs> the trash talk's a lot lighter than before. <laughs> well, well, I mean... I feel like the worst word that's been I'm said is pussy-o. Pigeon, leave the ring! Pigeon, Pigeon, leave the ring before he gets hacked! It's hand. good, they're, ha they're having fun with it. And Pigeon's gone. Oh. As is the man on, that was on the apron. Yes, Chief. Gabriel is dressed in a very classy outfit. Gabriel's just cracked open the car bomb. I mean, who's drinking here in Ramadan, bro? You're sussy. Oh, not me. You're sussy, bro, if you're drinking in Ramadan. Well, I think you'll find that it I'm is after it is after hours. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, my friend. Who's, whoever drinks in Ramadan doesn't have respect for the religion. Oh, it's not my religion, so... Still, respect for other religions, even if you're not. <laughs> I mean, if you're a fighter, who I respect would drink it. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't offer my Muslim friend a beer, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop drinking because of it. And uh, NBA goal team is gonna uh, get removed from the side. They should respect apparently. my alcoholism. This is interesting. Ace Jones announced that he's spiking. Could that set up a tone for this bout? Is he gonna pull a Khalid again? Does anyone remember the Khalid issue? <laughs> uh, what when no one saw him spiking? Was, no one saw him spiking well, whatsoever, and then he started winning, and his lag magically went away. Well, I can say that it does help to have an excuse set up early because obviously it makes it look like you didn't make it up on the spot. Oh, it appears Rebel only has one arm going into this fight, but if he starts I winning, it will magically arms. grow back. One punch. Oh, will I be see what you mean. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Thing this <laughs> and his mouth is broken, Confused. of course. Um, and he's playing with half a monitor. Is does he have the excuses again? So okay, yeah, okay, actually, that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. No, that's no. actually, yeah, that's, that's, okay. that's very, very, very. Obvious. Yeah, that could go to no contest because he said it. He said it quite early. Well, exactly. We've this got could some, be. We've got some juju going on here. Yeah, this could actually be a no no contest because he did say it completely. Mm, well, we have seen disqualification as a result of lag in the past, but yeah. that was obviously someone that was in denial. Yeah, someone who tried to so, hide the lag as well. He's admitted it, and it's also yeah. at a disadvantage for Ace. Here. Yeah, he's admitted it. Now, yeah, we're, now we're seeing it. Both ways. Frames are fine. Sometimes it can be hard to pinpoint the issue. It's stable, but it's unstable. Unstably stable. Could spike up at any moment. They're restarting the fight. That's going to cause controversy with Rebel Rebel Brooks corner. I don't think it was. was I feel slightly, like it. big hit. Oh, and the big overhand. Very very big hit from Rebel. Again. All square now. Good few hits there. Ooh! Hey, Ace Jones here. Trying to get rack one over Rebel. Rebel on the back foot at the moment. Taking his time. Well, and Ace Jones is lagging. There it is. Too Just obvious of a spike. One more and it will probably get called off. We, Big nickname Denderman. I don't, he hasn't called for a pause. I don't know why they're, they're pausing. It's been nicknamed Enderman. Yeah, how much he's teleporting. As far as I'm concerned, you fight till the bell. <laughs> Don't call him a loser.
Here we go. It's back on the way. That's making lag, apparently. I'm not sure if there's any truth in that statement. And it's unfortunate for Ace because he, he obviously had the health advantage quite significantly. What YouTube video is he uploading? That's the question. Watch us here. Ace he Jones. I, I believe. Having some good hits over he's Rebel. Uploading a, he's uploading a 37 hour compilation of his highlights from the RBC gym. Wait, who? <laughs> Maybe. Who's doing that? Wait, wait, who's doing that? Oh, Jones. Ace, Ace Jones. Oh my god. Oh, speaking of which, Rebel nice and Ace both man. landing big punches. And Rebel's in oh, trouble right now! Down. Water overhand! He's been in control, stop lagging. Sure. Yeah, well that's the thing, when he stops lagging, he definitely does have the advantage, but seems he's a little disoriented at times, and that's when Rebel plans. his And that's good hit! Oh, oh no, man, Rebel's fight. in trouble! Jones. Can we see a knockdown in the first here? Obviously, Ace Jones the only person in history to win in one round. Mm. Of course, off a, so another we, we MPS. We know he can... We know, there's been three now. I don't fucking care. We've, he was the first person in history. That is what I meant to say. Um, <laughs> Boss just hit you with a dash. <laughs> oh, that's... that's uh, Fair enough. Have a nice day. <clears throat> Kenny, did you say something to me, bro? I didn't see it. It's been three now, has there? There's been three, but you know he's the only he's the only person on official oh, shows. Someone's well, up on my homeboy Kenny. Be, be the I just... oh, oh, rebels down! Oh, and he's knocked him down. down. Got to get that. Could he be the first person to do it twice? No, he could. Well, there's still 30 seconds left, but no, Alex. I mean, like in terms of open fights and stuff. Rebel's gonna survive this round most likely, but Take a few hits there. I'm not looking good for going into the next. Good shot. He's gonna have to reassess. Look at him dancing around. He's got fancy footwork, Rebel. Oh, he did land that overhand there, though. He caught him off guard. Another one. And we go into the closing seconds. Hold up over here. At the end of the Good. round. Uppercut to end the round. Apparently, Beast has avoided Ken twice. The second time that well, Beast was meant to be facing Ken. Of course, that is not the most in history. We have had a fight fall through three Ace times. Jones. Oh wait, no, I did end up knocking him out. My bad. Ace Jones so rocking it in against Rebel Brook. I thought this guy was good, according to him. I love how just Beast casually leaves Rebel. Yeah, bro, you don't have to cheers every sip you take, you know. Hope everyone here is enjoying the show right now. We're like having some one hell of a fight, to be fair, in my opinion. Anyone? Not the Slav way. Back on the way. Here round two. I've, I've drunk. I've drunken with Slavs before. They down it all in one and then go get another one. That's why they cheers you again. Ah, uh, it's Jones. Got to keep up with him. Yeah. And oh, oh, he's doing serious spikes. That's it. I do. I do recall Raymundo saying, "Don't hit him when he spikes." So uh, obviously. Now that's a disadvantage that to Rebel. It's a disadvantage to Rebel. He's always spiking. Look, he's always spiking. He's more like a disadvantage. What's he meant to do? Let him heal? To me. No, like the rule that you cannot hit them when they're spiking. I feel like that's a huge disadvantage to Rebel. Hit him on a spike again. Well, I mean, I don't know because you know at the same That's time. That's his problem. Now it's a huge, huge disadvantage to Ace. Nah, he got his health brought back the last couple of times, so. You yeah, were asked to not well, attack on a spike. I, uh, I understand that the he's match, spiking mid flurry, but I, but I mean, if he was obviously spiking and then he throws, you know, I, I do see the issue there. Yeah. If, if he spikes mid flurry, you know, then. That is a, that is a what little are you bit do? unfortunate, yeah. but you know, to me, all the times he's he's been spiking, that's when Rebel's gone in for the offence. So he really is taking advantage of the situation for, uh, you know, for himself. Ace not being healed this time, and he's spiking again. See, that's mid flurry. That was mid flurry. Look, I don't know why he's talking. If I was him, I just I'd just go for him. Ace, you know, Ace could have. Knocked him with an overhand right there and then. Lucky he didn't. Now, every time he's getting close to him, he's lagging. 
You can see the spikes every time he gets close. This is, it, I feel this, this is unfair on Rebel, if I'm honest. I mean, it's not fair on anyone, but, you know, you have been told. I believe, if anything, it would go to a no contest. Well, you could. Because I don't, think, I don't think one particular fighter can get DQ'd for it. Because well, if you get disqualified for someone else's lag, that's a huge problem. But if you get disqualified when you're winning on points, that's also a problem. Oh, oh yeah. they keep down. See, I've said this word a lot tonight, but unfortunate. Unfortunate is the word that comes to mind. They seem to have thrown all form of strategy out the window, apparently. I'm not sure. You know, he was winning the fight, decidedly. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, one round in, but... Up until the big spike. He's uh, he's, he's not being uh, smart about this whatsoever. No, Ace clinical. is fighting back as well. Yo, Your mate. mate. Ooh, dirty oh, talk, mid fight. Well, he decided to talk there and got caught with a punch to the mouth. In fairness, still rocks. Jones after there. Good shots by Rebel. Good hits. The crowd's loving it. Most definitely the PRSers as well. Well, you know, you've got to be careful talking, talking in the middle of the fight because if he gets knocked out, that's certainly going to make him look like a... Uh, you know, for lack of a better term, an imbecile. Indeed, Indeed Ossil. Oh, indeed, Ossie. <laughs> Ossil. Oh, sorry. Ossil is Ossil. Sorry. Sorry. It's like uh, Edile all over again. Edile. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the round. round. Oh, look at it. Now. Almost an opposite picture of the last round, obviously, about the same amount of health gap, except yeah, the other guy's winning. I don't understand how this fight is continuing, though. So many people from Ace's side have been Quite saying, Hope's contest. One strong supporter of Kenny Young and in the 1500 gang, Little Snubbin. Yes, Kenny, yes, Kenny. Little 1500. Can you see me, sir? I don't see him. I don't see Legend him. 1500 fighting earlier tonight. Well, Kenny, oh, if I was you, I would look at heavyweight division and make up my mind. Rebel with the trash talk here, I mean, you know, again, I'm a fan of the trash talk, but in the ring you've got to be careful because against a guy like Ace Jones... Trash talk. You know, you, we saw what happened with Ryan Karen last fight, right? Well, exactly, and see, straight back in the fight is Ace Jones, almost even now. He needs a one more combo to make things even here. Rebeling, lunging forward shot. and lands a huge punch. Good he didn't shot get all of that either. He missed the overhand and he didn't block all of the uh, offense. Cussed him out. Really, really insane trash talk. Yeah. And now his ace won't go forward. Rebel, if I were you, I Could wouldn't trash talk to him too much, much, man. Could be getting to him. I mean, ace, ace there did kind of run in like a bit of a... You know, very uncharacteristic of him, let's put it that way. But also, he's never been in this position before. He's never been losing a fight. Indeed, this, this is the, the first time he's faced someone where he's been down on health. He could be getting back up, though, as he's about, very close to full health again. Well, he's, he's done a very good job of uh, healing, that's for certain. Most definitely. And lunges forward, lands one on Rebel. Oh, he, he caught the overhand there. And the hook. Blocks the hook in return. Now he's winning the fight and health ever so slightly. Probably by about one or two health points, but still winning nonetheless. Again, that trash talk starting to uh, Take effect. starting to look a little bit. Well, maybe he's going to regret that. He's turned this round around now. Ace Jones is taking the handles at the moment. Neither man throwing anything big, potentially conserving stamina. Oh, and the Good hook and an overhand. Oh, I think he blocked it, but he still obviously took some damage there, as is uh, characteristic of such a powerful shot. According to Fishy, trash talked the number one pound for pound, and now you're on the back foot. Well, exactly. Wow. He's not wrong. That is exactly what happened, and 
I, I mean, personally, I'd give this round to Ace at this point. Ace is so doing very well. So far, it's, so far it's his, definitely. Do a few punches here. Ace is taking some serious damage. Oh, yeah, he's taking it down. <laughs> Ace trying to slip in. Hey, I'm my words. 30 seconds remaining of the third. Ace still backing down, like he you knows. Good uppercut. Oh, good, good, good combo there over Ace at the moment. Good combination. Got fortunate to land where he did. Oh, oh he landed on his own. 15 seconds. Will we see another knockdown? I don't think so, but, you know, a very good round for Ace Jones with regards to the comeback. Oh. But I was about to say both even. men nearing full health, but. Good hits there. Knockdown. There we go at the moment. Oh, big hits from both sides. Oh. And that finishes the round. You know, see, let's hear it from the crowd. Who won this round? Who won this round for the crowd? I, I think I think we've got a. You know, it's very hard to uh, get an unbiased opinion, but I would like to provide my own, and I would say we're two-one Ace Jones. Well, yeah, I mean triple. Potentially could be right. We could be looking at a 38-38 at, at this point. Depends on how the judges score it. We could be looking at a tied fight at this point. One just here. Oh, and, oh, and the Ace overhand. Jones. That's a nice overhand there over Rebel. He's Rebel like oh, another one. Ooh. Both sides are equal at the moment. This is a very good fight. He's going to go for it. Oh. Most definitely, this is what we came for. He caught the hook. Now, but now you have to think his stamina, he's burned through it. Blocks the overhand. Oh, and oh, Ace Jones. Oh. Asserting dominance so far. Rebel missed Oh, on the time. overhand. I think he missed the overhand. He's missed two overhands in a row, but he's not. Well, Rebel is having some oh. serious oh. issues right now. Ace could get one knockdown here right now. He's starting to pull away. He is starting to pull away. Gabriel. Making his voice heard. There goes oh. the spike. There goes the spike. No, the spike's ended. I mean, he 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 do well to not talk now. Much as well. Bro, <laughs> talent, exactly. anchor it. Come on. <laughs> this <laughs> anchor it. Oh, oh he's down. Down in the crown. This is why you don't talk with fight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Within the blink of an eye, Rebel going down to near half health, and now beat he's down. Oh, wow. No, 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 returns with it. I hope this one goes into a little bit longer because I'm very entertained thus far. The slobber knocker. Ace Jones still has slight health advantage, but he's, he's not backing down. He's going straight for it. Oh, on the overhand, I think he blocked that. There's uh, no significant. Oh, and he. I think Ace caught him with that overhand. Ace Jones still been in the advantage here. We've got a, we've got a minute left of the round. Rebels struggling at the moment. Oh, big hook there. Oh, big overhand. He's starting to pull away now. This is where he really takes control of the fight. When there's a big taking, gap, taking he pushes serious the pace. damage. Rebel, his mouth firmly closed at this point. Not the best position Ace to be in. Ace is not letting up. He's stuck in. Oh, he slips the overhand. Could be dangerous. Ace just recouping stamina from the looks of things, maybe going in for a big one. Oh, he hit the. Oh, he landed with the overhand there. Just not letting Rebel heal. If he can, if he can maintain this health gap, the fight should be his because Rebel's going to have to continually be on the back foot. Oh, big overhand. This is not looking pretty for Rebel's corner. Oh, but he counters with an overhand of his own. Oh, and he's down again. Rebel, Rebel was doing so well at the start. Down. Take according to Ace Jones. Ending the round. the round. Very heavy Another shot by Jones. Right That's what you want to see. Jones not letting Starting up. To take control of the fight here. Rebel really, really not looking good. He is good. definitely paying the price of trash talking at the moment. For sure. But you know, I tried to, I tried to make my voice heard, and he did not listen, unfortunately. People are saying Rebels round, I don't know what 
fight they were watching. I think they were watching with their ass, bro. I'm pretty sure. Potentially. That, that, that's the only possible explanation. Either that or he may be legally blind. Of course, we do have to account for that fact. I apologize in advance if he is. 3-2 to ace in the fourth round. Well done, Hamatoki. Math was never your strong point, supposedly. Thanks. <laughs> I would say 3-1 to ace Jones, but of course, I'm not a judge. Rebel. Ace still putting the pressure on his opponent. That's what he wants to be doing in this situation. Rebel went for the uppercut oh, there. B Day landed a huge He's combo. Closing the gap slightly. Nope, not anymore. Oh wow. Oh. He's in yellow. He's he, got the hook ah, though. This is not looking good. He is he is getting the hook, but again, this is what I was trying to say the last fight, but I think we saw a knockdown or something. We need a name for this point of the fight where one fighter is so in control they're willing to exchange a bit of damage in order to deal some damage. The tank. Tank face. Tank, Sorry, Tyler, tank I was face. checking my phone. I was checking my phone, something's up, sorry. Got the call from my friends. Just riding into the danger zone. Firing off shots is. of his own. Exige is going to be a father. Congratulations, Exige. Oh, and he blocked the overhand, he blocked Thank the you, overhand. Mate. Did not get all of that. But then he misses his own. Ace Jones. People saying Rebel's round. Definitely in control. This, this is Ace Jones' fight at the moment. I mean, I do like Rebel, but this is too obvious. Ace is just too dominant at the moment. Ace with another good shot. Mm. Overhand. Well, we're not Connects, oh, and he's down. Again. This could be it. Will we, could he will get we back up? Get up he's up he will get back up! Wow. He's not going to be able to survive many more of those. He's not going to be able to. I think that is the fourth knockdown of the fight. or Fourth or third. I'm not too sure, but regardless... You know, people don't survive much more than five. Huge overhand. In Rebel's eyes, it's got to be three too many. Don't well, want exactly. to get knocked I mean, down. He's going to be, he's going to be getting to nearly a hundred clicks at this rate. You know, Good and a shot. Oh, over there. I think both men landed an overhand there, but Ace still in green. Ace Rebel can afford to panicking a little bit. Ace can afford to get hit with that overhand. With the health advantage that he has. This is going to be a controversial win, though. I just know it. If Ace does pull through and win, I'm sure that Rebel and his, his team are going to follow up the lag. In my opinion, it hasn't influenced the fight enough for it to call the result into question. If anything, it's influenced it in Rebel's favour. Well, he got exactly. some free damage at some point in the fight. I said it was unfair on Rebel, but since the lag hasn't been as active as it was in the earlier rounds, things have evened up a bit. In his think, odds. Well, I mean, I even, if, even, if gave the, even if we gave the lag round to Rebel, it's still looking like it's going to be 3 2 to ace going into the sixth. So, you know, at this point, it's not been a uh, turning point in the battle. Yeah. However, and Rebel's Rebel, also coming back a little bit. Yeah. In the meantime, and that's the end of the round. Oh, both men fairly even here. I would um, see people are going to call me biased, but I would say that late flurry wasn't enough to make the round Rebels. I think it's 4-1, ace. But Esmeralda's all on, all tides, the tides are turning. Yeah, Hamatoki. Agreeing with you there. I would love to say 3-2 for ace, in my opinion. One round, I think Rebel has one round added on to... Um, well, I think perhaps. I mean, that round... We've seen all kinds of scores thrown around, you know, we think some people there was a, a round in which they tied, you know, going into the fourth, some people were saying 40-40 or 38-38 or whatever. Oh, both men throwing an overhand. I think Ace caught it, though, but Rebel did not. I think despite the late comeback from Rebel, Ace was dominant in round five, which to me is enough to justify the, the win on the cards in that round. Ace is also landing a lot more damage now. Pretty significant health advantage for Ace Jones. Rebel's definitely trying to land, but Ace is doing a very good job as he's really working into his own pace in this fight. He's dodging and blocking with great effect. He's also landing a lot of damage. Um, I mean, we may be looking at another knockdown coming up here. And 
I really don't know if Rebel will be able to get up from there. So far, a stalemate between both sides. Might as well start throwing punches. Rebel lunges in forward with a good overhand. Ace did return a hook there, but obviously... Ooh. My battery is fine now. again, Rebel. We've still got a lot of shade being thrown between the two teams. This is a very, very high-intensity fight. It's been a very good fight as well. The cards probably don't flatter Rebel at the moment, but it's been a good fight. Definitely. One second, my battery is almost dead. I need to change it. Oh, and he's down again. This could be the end for Rebel. Will Rebel Brook get up from this? He's up. That was quick. Ace Jones almost stunned into inaction there. I he completely hate my timing. Rebel straight away. I completely Quite hate my timing, bro. <laughs> well, we've, uh, Ace Jones managed to take control, but there are... You know, that was uncharacteristically fast, I have to say. But doesn't seem to matter to Ace because, you know. Oh, Rebel going down into that yellow foot. zone. He's having some serious issues right now. I don't think he will be able to come back at this point. One more knockdown and I think he's out. Well, oh, and we got Intruder in the ring. We got Intruder in the ring. Something's going on. First ever streaker in RBC history. Ring him, mate. Up. A brief pause in the fight. Ace Jones definitely a lot more comfortable right now. You know, he was able to see the light of that situation. Doesn't of doesn't care too much. He knows Rebel trying to hands. Rebel, Rebel trying to throw Ace Jones off with that Shadow Clone Jutsu. Not working though. Oh, but he missed the overhand. One thing I would I would say about Ace Jones is oh, big overhand. I think it caught him there. I think got all that, but it's really not made a massive difference to the health. I think Ace Jones down in the round. Oh, that was a late shot there from from. It yeah, was late, but it wasn't after the bell. Be. Yeah. By boss's definition, hey, after the bell bro. is after the message has cleared. Guys, we have Lil Nas X well, in the building. Someone look good. at Stupera. We have Lil Nas X in the building. If you're still on uh, Ace Jones cam, it's just over his left shoulder. We, um, but yeah, Ace Jones is very good at controlling the pace of the fight, I think. You know, he's not rushing in and being particularly brash, but he's keeping his opponent on the back foot. I would say he's up. Unfortunately for Superior, he's a little bit late. I think there's very little argument to say Ace Jones isn't winning this fight thus far, regardless of how many rounds you give him. Of course, Mesmerized does quite literally seem to be mesmerized because he thinks he's winning every men. single round. I'm pretty, sure he's watching his, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's watching this fight with his ass. Th this guy doesn't know what rounds are. Oh! Speaking oh, of but now Rebel has actually come back. See, every time Ace takes control, Rebel does manage to come back. But Ace will just put him right back on, on the back foot. Danny, why are you being sussy? Uh, yeah, but, sorry. They're being on the back foot at the moment. But Rebel, I think he will fight back eventually. But I think it's going to be a little too late for him. Rebel Even just though needs he's... to assess the situation. Well, Definitely. And he needs to start winning Ace rounds as soon as possible. Brutal shot there from Ace Jones, Precisely. not I mean, what Rebel needs. This round, he will win Ace the round in order. Round, I mean, again, I'm not a judge, but he could be up six rounds. He, you know, I mean, you never he's know. The he's the one more round and he's going to be like on seven rounds. It's not even going to be enough for a Rebel at that point. Well, exactly. And that is potentially uncatchable. Oh, good hook. Good oh, hook there. Now Rebel's got the slight health advantage. Oh, my batteries. Dog fights. B day now. On the lower end. Ace Jones backing up. Assessing his situation. Ace Jones is being kind of suppressed at the moment. Gotta be careful. Ooh! Oh, missing the overhand. Very close call there. Unlucky. Rebel now. Charging forward at him. Rebel has more stamina at this point. He's wasted all of his tank perhaps. He needs to build it back up. I don't think B-Day can even... Oh, good overhand. Very good overhand from Rebel. What a hit! That even...
Roman makes Gabriel go shook. Wow. Yeah, Ace is. Ace was winning for a while, but could this yeah, be we... the lift that Rebel needs? <laughs> Think about it. He still has four rounds to go. Rebel can still win, still win this, according to the crowd. No apologies. I was dealing with a real life situation, but uh, we're Don't 20 seconds in. Uh, sorry, 20 seconds remaining. Stop I don't know about bit. you guys. Rebel may actually have just taken another round. I feel like he has won this round. Good overhand by Rebel. Ace no, trying to finish strong. He's trying to finish strong. Winning. Going for the overhand to finish it. Very round good. Eight. Four rounds remaining on the... I think we... Yeah, 5-2. Five, five I would agree with that motion. 5-2 to Ace Jones, but positive from Rebel. Sure. Well, I mean, I think the argument is 5-2 or 4-3. Potentially, I don't. I don't think someone saying four three is unjustified. However, you know. four three. I'm pretty much saying four three. Uh, Ace is leading still. However, he's very good so far. Well, that's the thing. Rebels decoy cast the spell on Ace. Expelliarmus. Ace running straight in with the block, and he catches him with the overhand. Ace once again. I think the health is fairly even, but Ace is very good at asserting that slight health advantage that just makes the round his, if that makes sense. He, he did get caught with an overhand though. Rebel's now got the health advantage. Oh, if you almost landed that hook, very close. This is a very interesting fight, very back and forth. I really, oh, honestly... Oh, this, this might be the very I first think, fight oh, of the night. Nice Potentially. I mean, I can't say... I think I know who's winning, but I can't say who's going to win. You know? The advantage but at the moment, or this round at least. And if, if, you know, if he can get Ace to yellow, if he's clinical enough, he may be able to finish the he fight. And speaking of which... He has him on yellow, almost. We have seen Ace come back, but can he... Can he... Can he do it again? He has only been dropped, I think, twice in the fight compared to Rebel, who's been dropped four or five times. Ace with very good defense here. He is slowly but surely oh, regaining health. Oh. And he caught him with the overhand, but he gets caught one in return. Counteracting the damage. Trying Ace to land in. Trying to defense Doesn't want to waste here, any more time. Oh, very close. He went for his bread and butter combo, but didn't work out. Is Rebel looking to get another round in a row? Lunging forward! Oh, Rebel! He trips! On trips. full health! Did he? He trips. That's tripping, he that wasn't a down, it was a trip. trip. That's the first time I've seen anything like that, and oh, immediately Ace catches him with the overhand, and now it's virtually even on health. <laughs> that could come back to haunt Rebel, the fact that he could not stay on his feet. The overhand, I think Ace blocked that. Now he could be looking to land his own, and he does. Still slight advantage of Rebel, but Ace has yeah. definitely closed the gap, considering he was bordering yellow. Very, very good for him. But Rebel's taken control of this fight for the past two rounds, I would say. Yeah, I'd say Rebel. He's definitely, definitely listening to what we were saying. After the trip, not looking so hot. Rebel's feet tape failing him. Yes, I agree, Jakub. Rebel's still with the advantage. I mean, that's all you need, you know. It, Knockdowns are not based on a health point, they're based on accumulation of damage. So if he can just chip away at him, he could start to even it out on that front. He blocked the overhand, uh, it's, it appeared to miss entirely, I'm, I'm not too sure how. Uh, yeah, I thought, oh, I thought, I thought Ace was standing still for a second there, you can't really blame Rebel for taking the shot. He, he wasn't I mean, actively this round is moving during over. the spike. I mean, five seconds in the, in the in this round remaining. I think Rebel may be on the road to redemption. I'm thinking. Well, I don't, I don't think he can deduct five, points five, from Rebel for that. 
No, I, I would not say the point deduction. I would say no. five three rebel. Uh, is it me or the the scuba? Oh, okay. No, he'll give a couple extra seconds. There's the right. end of the round. And Ace survives for the rest of the round. Rebel's still coming forward. Wait. <laughs> the rebel knows what he's doing. <laughs> no. What is this what mind game? That, uh, after the trash talk, rebel has um, gone a little bit insane. He seems to have been. How about Toki calling for fair play? Time. Boys, I'm gonna be right back. I need to go to the toilet for a bit. Sorry. Ooh. And here comes Ace, he says he's ready. Have a turkey, stop it. Does it fart though? Wow. Does it fart? What is this? After this fight, I'm gonna go get a drink. Alright. Interesting participation from the crowd here. Ace oh. Jones, again, really a punishment. not looking good for him in terms of the health. Maybe Rebel's trip was actually a power nap, and he's swinging for the fences now. Potentially. Oh, good hit! Takes out a chunk of Ace's health. Says he's lagging. Small spikes now. You can't, you can't really blame Rebel again. See people screaming for a deduction, but if they scream it the whole time, maybe when there's actually a deduction. It'll be like the boy who cried wolf. Match continuing now. Yeah, and there's the lag. He was he was starting the combo. If I feel like if anyone's fight, it's got to be rebels. See that they're screaming for more deductions. That was actually a closer to a deduction than the last one, but they've been screaming it so much that you just don't believe them at this point. There you go. There's another spike. There's another spike. You you really can't you can't blame Rebel at this point if he's spiking every two seconds. Really isn't fair for Rebel. Someone saying he's just Xing to recover. Uh, unfortunately, Xing freezes your feet as well. So, so you won't be able to see if he was holding X. His feet were frozen. Good shots by Rebel. B Day's low. Rebel's trying to finish the fight before Ace. Before Ace can lag again. Rebel absorbing a bit of punishment there. But he can afford to. He's in the tank stage of the fight. As we've dubbed it. B Day now moving forward. Missing the punch, going backwards. Rebel lands the punch, but telling him to back up. People are calling for a no contest. Oh, sorry for a sl slight delay on my people behalf. Are, people are causing, calling for a no contest. Rebels had the last couple of rounds. Ace is down very low, but most of that's been due to him spiking. Rebel hasn't, you know, had a problem with it. Missed a lot, sorry, Yeah, mate. there's another one. There, that's got to be. That's not going to be a deduction. That's not going to be a deduction. That's got to be 100%. That's got to be it. 
Sorry I missed the lot, Grumpy. Do you want to tell me what happened? Uh, well, boss hasn't said back up yet. He's standing still. He's typing. Oh, he's lagging seriously. He's typing. He's typing. Oh, he's got to go. He's got to go. Yeah, no, he was typing. It wasn't... He didn't say pause. It was... No. No, he was typing. He was typing. It doesn't count. They want it to be called no contest. One, boss didn't say back up before, and B-Day was typing, so call it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Is this going to go on, and Rebel's just going to knock him out? He's GTG in like two minutes, just fight. No, you can't call it a no contest at this point. No. Look oh, at his health. Oh, you no, can't he's... call it a no contest. You cannot he's... call a no contest at this. That's a towel thrown in. Oh. No, he's going to, he's going to, um. That's gonna... outrageous. I'm surprised. Did Rebel win? Oh, it has to be his win. Yeah, his win. Yeah, it, it will be, be his, his win. win. It will be it his has win. Has to be his win. Can't, Can't fight anyway. All right, GG. that's respectable. That's respectable. He didn't uh, even get it with the t knockdown. He, Rebel, at least knock him out, bro. I'm surprised he was allowed uh, to do that. That is he it. Just punched him when he was. Yes, I'm surprised uh, that wasn't called a no contest. I'm and, not. And um, Rebel Brook well, won I the title. In the first round, Raimondo said, don't hit him while he's spiking, and then he hit him to red whilst he was spiking. I mean, he didn't, you know, he didn't call the break, but he'd already said, you know. No, yeah, that's I'm, the I'm thing. not talking about there that. Was, I'm talking there was about, a bunch of times where I'm he didn't. About when he was standing still, typing, and the guy just hits him because he didn't say pause. Yeah, exactly. He was typing. He was typing. Is this even yeah, like a was, forfeit? because he was spiking. No, I he said, him, he I said because I, get, I have to go in a minute. That's what he said. It was nothing oh, to do with him spiking. He said, I, I have know, to go in a couple I'm, minutes. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that was uh, that was not a no contest. But, you know, he forfeited. If he, if he, I think if he hadn't forfeited, he would have been in scope to... Uh, yeah, he would have been knocked out. This feels like a knockout yeah. victory for me, in my opinion. Oh, about oh, no, and I'm at peace. It's telling me When I think about this, I scream. I try to go sleep. And then I see that. It's the return of the team. Back with two shakes and attacks. Because it's stamina filled back up. That's Barton Supreme. Everyone's giving up. Give a no what the just means. These years been far from Pedigan. One of them tears, but a villain in me. Now all my friends are a Kennedy. Now a lot of them ain't really with me. They're doing for a bar. I'm still in the ball like guys in a bar. No transport to be bar to the dark. When I get deep force, I think by the past. You don't, you don't really know how, how who to feel worse for in this scenario. You, know? you can feel bad for Ace Jones all you want for lagging and spiking. You've got to feel bad for Rebel as well. Because people are going to feel this illegitimate title reign. That's the thing, you're doing it right now. You're just free to get in for. Free snap jar, what you think is in for? Free low jazz and free low jump. I'm real. Like at the beginning of round seven, when it's like coming back, but it's like, no, but I mean, you know, I think he, um, it's hard to fully credit him for that win. Well, like, boys, you know, I'm sure he doesn't care. Yeah, I'd say to get into that position, you, you're gonna be deserving of some sort of title credit. So I'm gonna give it to the guy. I, I it wasn't probably, it probably wasn't the cleanest fight, not the best, not what you'd want to win it as, but it doesn't change the fact that he's champion. One of the best things he's been, it's just, you know, he, um, I'm, I'm sure he won his title. I'm not sure, of course. You know, uh, Reza Ken is fighting against the unknown fighter. This is going to be a truly well, unique one. People keep the pulling me in Reza Soft. There are only three fun heavyweights in the building at the moment as well. It's Kenny, Fishy, and Bull Flat. One of them zero, two, and zero. I mean, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to cast cast any, uh, you know, opinion as to who's who's it going to be. But is Cool Black's actually going to fight? You think giving him a guy who's well, you think that giving him a guy who's zero, two, and zero is a little bit unfair. But at the same time, considering considering Kenny Bomber Young came in preparing to fight Beast Riley, giving him someone as good as as uh, Roberto Fury would be quite, quite the tactical switch up. Indeed. Oh, and he already fought. He already fought. So, well, I don't know what's going to happen then. 
we we may see callbacks or perhaps perhaps we'll see a fan. I don't know. The return of Detta. I mean, Fishy already fought well, today. Are we gonna give Fishy another another fight tonight? Well, I don't know. It depends on whether or not we. Oh my we're God! Gonna... Forge is moving up a class. For, Forge is moving up classes. Forge, Forge. is. Oh dropping. wow. Jay Robinson. Oh wow. Wow. Definitely an instant weight change, and he comes out with the Japanese. Sorry, uh, he's got the weird dad figure here. No, I mean, Carlo has fought in heavyweight before. Yeah, I know. He uh, he fought against uh, Balboa. Are you a sumo fighter, Forge? You're a sumo fighter, Forge. Carlo. Yeah, I feel like Roblox is going to lose a lot, of, uh, a lot of money with the name changes due to the nicknames and things. I think I mean, name changes make up a very small percentage of the uh, amount of revenue they make because otherwise I don't see why they Brian. introduce display names. Well, I mean, even then, you know. And here he comes out, Kenny Bomber Young. Well, more story it would be a four times to stop up the but uh, I don't think you're going to come in full of confidence. The man that I have a lot of respect for. There he is, with the 1500s gang. A gang that I proudly represent. Why is the crowd dead? Come on, give it up for my man. Kenny Bomber Young. Well, Bomber Young, Young sounding very close to Bomber Yay, which means kill him. Black Paul, hey man! Oh. I think that was quite sad. I feel like. Oh, heads like KSI. Wait, actually, he looks like KSI's airline. He does. He actually looks like KSI. Really, he's not pulling any shots here. Forge could also uh, not hasn't said anything uh, too discriminatory. Not to, cast any, not to cast any doubt in his mind, but he could be the first person to lose three fights in RBC. Of course, Kenny can't be racist. He's got a he's got a black skeleton in his corner. Exactly. Probably the best skeleton I've ever seen in years as well. Here we go, Kenny Bomber Young Ooh. in the orange. Forge throws the first punch of the evening as well. First punch of the though. fight. Misses it though. Sorry, bro. Kenny's destroying. Kenny, Kenny lands the overhand. Yeah, yeah, Kenny yeah, has oh, huge man. hits on him. You don't want to smoke. Uh, Kenny's not going short, backwards. Yeah, At least voila. he's not s holding this time. We just watched. Voila. Oh, 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 what a voila. shot! This is why he's called the bomber. Is this going to be the fastest bomb. knockout? Right before Ace. Look at how down he is. Can he send him before Ace shows? Ever did. To Detta. Oh, better shots. Oh, wow. He's nearly down to half Good now. Oh, newbie dropping down below 80%. Kenny trying to enter. Kenny Young goes for the overhand. Lands it. Oof. Remarkably even fight thus far. Neither man really caring that much for defense. Both just trying to string together combinations. Kenny's had I, the upper I hand slightly. I think made one of the biggest mistakes ever. As a welterweight fighter, moving up oh! to the heavyweight! Oh, he's down! And he's shot. down! Massive hand laying into Forge! Brings him down to the canvas. Now Kenny Young. Kenny's corner just really singing his praises. I can but see him in the 1500s chat right now. They're talking to each other. Kenny Young, of course, in the commentary. Very close here, so far. 
<laughs> from what <laughs> I could see. Kenny Young in the it's comms, fight, bro. But of course, Clear comms. Kenny Young with the, uh, <laughs> with the look, though. They're saying the famous Scott Steiner lying over there in Ken's corner. Mm. Forge How down slightly lower. Oh, oh, good oh, shot by yeah, Kenny. Yeah. Kenny just doesn't defend. He should attack, attack, attack. Because it is one free already. Oh. oh, he's really not. Uh, he's calling the fight. His, Good overhand by Kenny. Why did Forge even accept this? Why? Oh, oh Kenny's oh, down. Kenny's down. Oh, he's down. Kenny's down. Lol, says Forge. <laughs> Jay Robinson laughing in the face of Kenny Young. Bomber, yay! Look, Shout Flex Shadow. Why is Kenny. everyone calling one fifteen thousands social rejects? What's up with that? Fifteen hundreds are definitely not social rejects. They've been around for a while. But why? They were a very old faction back in Row Wrestling. Of course, not a remarkably dominant one. And that's it. I'd say they're quite dominant in places such as CCW and DXW. Oh, the English yes. feds, because most of them are of GMT and European variety. They didn't really go to well, Eastern feds you. where we grew up, you know. None of none of them really match the dominance of uh, Judgment Day, however. Definitely. <laughs> True, but think about it. You got Justin Black, you've got Braxton, you've got Ludus Snubbin, oh. Shadow, all big names. True. And you've got over here making a name for himself in road boxing. Could be the baddest man on the planet if he wins this. Certainly stake his claim as the number one pound for pound. I don't know that he would be, but he'd be up there for sure. Yeah. Guys, do you think this might be the kind of an early finish for the night? I think we're going to see this one put away quite quickly because Forge is not defending and he's also not really landing anything. Yeah. See, Kenny Young isn't defending, but he hasn't really needed to that much. Ford's uh, missing a lot of punches, wild swings. He went down very quickly and now he's panicking. Overhand by Forge. Met by the uppercut by he's Kenny Young. A bit, though. He's, he is he's Kenny needs hard. to compose himself. Not bad. Not bad. But this does have the feel of an anime fight to it. Mm. They can start flying off the walls. Not bad. You actually hurt me. But you are already dead. But Seems to me like he's giving Forge an angle to come back. He, uh... Still slightly with the health advantage. But he needs to go back to his round one ways. It would seem like he's not really good hit. throwing anything. He kind of went in as if he was going for a flurry and didn't catch anything, but he does now have a bit more of a decided advantage. Not body. incoming. How is this even competitive? Kenny, an already heavyweight fighter, good shot. is fighting against a welterweight fighter, and welterweight fighter mm -hmm. Forge is giving an actual hit. Yeah, there's a huge weight difference. Yeah, they, they, uh, he, he only he had was, one welterweight was, match, though. He is a new heavyweight. Uh, yeah. He was actually never a welterweight. I'm he not was. sure. He did. Wait, I don't fight, remember. Fight night six. Fight night six against Dan Ram Mustafa. No, welterweight's the lowest. Oh wait, that's Carrillo. Sorry, not Carrillo. Forge fought Riley. No, yeah, he fought uh, oh! Fury in the heavyweight as well. I mixed things up. I'm sorry, crowd. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Were you thinking of Carrillo? His career no, 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 that really matters too much because it seems Just. to me that he's coming back here, you know, regardless of weight class. He's, you know, <laughs> now, Alex, if I'm actually removed and this might be my last night, at least it was an honor to, you know, do the event for everyone here. Well, I think if you're to be removed, you should go out on something really controversial like uh, Ricky Gervais's speech. 
at the Oscars or whatever it was, you know, just yeah, just start pull throwing everyone, hands. Pull Good shot by Kenny to end it. Know. Wasn't after yeah. the bell. Gabriel, most likely directly on the bell. Don't worry, Kenny. It counts. It's on the bell because it was. I've the just been informed that is the minus ten points for for Forge. He is now down ten points. How? I'm I'm making it up. It's just apparently just uh, apparently according to uh, Exige, he's down ten weight classes as well. Well, he's, he's, fighting, he's, he's, been he's fighting in the skeleton weight. You know. The numbers. He's, well, Lewis Novin about to step in the ring. <laughs> I got banned for saying the N-word. Well, that is, I would like to enforce why you do not say the N-word. That is, of course, exactly. why you got banned. <laughs> I mean, at least he well, knows why he got banned. Well, well exactly. <laughs> but I mean, Brand I find real. it hard to think that there was many things to choose from if he uh, quite literally said the N-word, you know. Uh, if, you've, if you've got a list of things that you could have got banned for alongside the N-word, then... Never know. He could, have, he could have said Memphis. Oh. Good hits! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Good shots by Memphis. Kenny Young. Oh, oh, yeah. That that's my new word to say. Oh, bro. Oh, oh. Double O. I haven't I haven't said a Mamma Mia. This. Mamma Mia. No, no. That's Did not you? how I say it. It's not how I say it. <laughs> Alright, do it your way then. Do it your I way. Take then. offense at that. No, because nothing's happened. There's been no stanky legs. What's that's the fine. most Italian word fine. you can think of? I mean, What's the I... most Italian word you can think of? I take offence at that, sir. What, you were Italian? Uh, I mean, I'm 0.6% I'm Italian, according to my ancestry report, so yes. <laughs> did you actually get an ancestry report? I did! Wow, okay. <laughs> I mean... Why, though? I don't know, I just thought it would be interesting. Would anyone want to do that, actually, here? Anyways... Sounds interesting. It's interesting, but we need to focus on the yeah, fight. Yeah, see, Jones has one. Well, unfortunately, they're not giving us much. I mean, to they've focus just been backing around. Man, I am, Good I shot am by Ken, though. Quite significantly. Ooh! Overhand Dude, connecting by Ford. Oh, beautifully so far. They do seem to be uh, taking heed to our words. And now Kenny's losing the fight on the health. But Kenny not such a big bomb beyond. Raymundo's rubbing it in. Imagine getting called out by head honcho like this. Kenny hits that like is, a better no young. One oh. out by the gaffer. Overhand Bombe block. Young is definitely not going in my team. <laughs> I did hear before the fight, Kenny Bomber Ooh. Young. Uh, oh, Ford's landed oh, one wow. now. He's losing now. Good shot by Ford. Bomber needs to be careful. Missing again. I think he connected with that. And he can't finish Young. Foster and Mundo oh. just throwing shade. Everybody's calling Ken out the moment. Good shots by both men. Forge is gonna win a world heavyweight, well, at welterweight. No, 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 no. He's he was a heavyweight. My my mistake, bro. Could we oh. be seeing the first heel turn in RBC? Who's heel, heel turn? turn? What? Is it boss heel turn? Alex Alex Woody seems to seems to be betraying his own fighter. Yeah. Round four incoming. Can he buy his? No, that's that 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 that's just low low blow. That's a low. Blow. Is a negative about to be a heavyweight champ? Well, he would not be negative if he wins the fight. Let's let's He'd be equal. I mean, that would be a comeback story for the ages. Kenny Bomber Young, I think he may be injecting copious amounts of steroids and heroin right now in order to give him that extra edge over his opponent. Don't see how the heroin would help, but you do you, Kenny. Well, I think it would uh, serve as a pain nullifier.
It's also very hard to get up from uh, <laughs> from being on heroin. Yes, very addictive. And he's losing right now. What's going on? Kenny really I'm not needs quite to sure what's him. happened. It seems like his, his tactics. Oh, he pulls it back a little bit. Kenny, with an all honesty, if a negative record wins the IBF title, you know he that's going to bring it down on your neck. He won't be negative Forever. anymore. Well, he will be like at a draw, but still. Gabriel, you're sus. Anyways. Oh, and Kenny with the big shot, he slips the other overhand. Ooh. Now he's got the health advantage once again. He has come back a little bit. He's completed the comeback. Kenny. Can Forge retake his advantage or will it be all down here, downhill from here? Maybe the smack talk from the man to my left and the man to my right. Uh, the next Kenny Ricky Young. Gervais. Oh, no. Oh, no. The next Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Kenny Bryan person, Young. These insults becoming a little bit... Bro, a little bit... Who is this Doma Trana guy? Who is this Doma Trana guy? He's, he's the guy that got banned for saying the N word. <laughs> the Kenny slapped by Black Kenny Floyd. Young. Young. <laughs> it would appear to me that. Uh, Who, I, who's I fighting Kenny here? Is it is it forged, forged or is it Boss? I've seen good a shot by Kenny him before where he pretends like he's not a good fighter. He feels but him out he... in the first couple of rounds. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, he does enjoy. Then. He does enjoy feeling his opponents, that's for sure. For, Forge went from downing 10 donuts at Iftar to fighting for a heavyweight belt. <laughs> Don't know why exactly Kenny is being met with such hate here, but uh, oh, he good really shot. is. Very good shot by He's Forge. Fighting, you know, like when you're in a dream and you can't punch properly. And that's sure. how I feel like Kenny's fighting right now. Oh! Good overhand. Missing. Forge is, Forge is winning right now. Forge absorbing punishment. I mean, he's been winning for the past, like, two or three rounds. He's certainly turned his fight around. But it is only the fourth round for some reason. It's only the fourth round for some reason. Well, I thought it was more like the 8th or ninth. In fact, do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? There's only been four. I'm going for a piss. All if right. someone gets knocked out in the meantime, which I Forge. doubt they will. No, we got now. you, Omi. Don't worry. We got you. Kenny could come back. Yeah, he needs to focus, though. He can't rush in. Because he's been rushing in whilst having the advantage. Good shot. End, End of the round. round. Kenny only looked like he connected feet. more. But he appears not to be dealing as much damage. Wait, Kenny's looking for an excuse right now. Why is this tools? No, it looks like Ken just won that exchange, but the health looks weird. I personally think Forge is leading the fight at the moment. At, like, yeah, th this maybe. is weird. Ken Kenny, scheduled to fight like Beast Riley, is getting slapped up by Forge. Yeah, but it's Beast Riley. Can you compare him to Jay Robinson? Kenny, my shots are played, so I can throw my bombs young. <laughs> Alex, you need to stop. Alex, that's, you need that's to a, stop. That's a mouthful. I don't think that would fit in the graphic. <laughs> Small print it. Yeah, there you go. But Forge is low on the health at the moment. Yeah, Kenny's been doing quite well. Kenny Feeling getting out process. Up by Black Ben Eskrin <laughs> Young. <laughs> Bro, these comments are just mad. Stop. Stop. Very harsh. <laughs> I don't want to laugh at this, but this is this is too much, bro. It's harsh. It's very harsh. He's not even doing that poorly. 
I'm pretty sure Kenny has been bullied more than Kaylee ever did in RBC at the Yeah, moment. the sad thing is, Kenny's winning this round. <laughs> He's winning the round and people are still bullying him. I, I wish we... Okay, we must not, yeah. Truly, we must not. Oh, good uppercut! No spamming, please, Clout. I cannot see, I'm legally blind. <laughs> Clout. Thank you. Clout. Okay, this this took a serious turn. This, this took oh, a serious wow. Oh. Ken, being, Ken being extremely racist there. All those hashtags, God knows what those were. Good in the hard R, R and everything. R. Wait, what? Wow. No, uh, Ken just said a sentence that was all hashtagged out, so. No, I get it, but like, wait, really? No. <laughs> We've, we've seen another bit of firsts this night. I mean, we saw the very first trip. We saw the very first spider wearing, as a man, wearing a bra to the ring. We've seen the very first racial abuse in the ring. But that's also that. There's also that. Yeah. Are you tired, bro? You sound like you're tired. Who's tired? You. I mean, I've done about four hours straight of commentary tonight, so. Indeed. And that was before I came here. Oh, wait. So this is like hour seven. Yeah, I was I was doing Reza. Uh, sorry, <laughs> so, sorry to hear that, man. Nah, that's fine. Bro, PRS has been delayed for like the third week in a row this time. So like, yeah. can't do anything except RBC. Kenny slightly higher. Good shot by both men. Kenny, I'ma be a daredevil for the match. <laughs> it's not even a bad thing. There you go, Kenny. Slightly higher. Probably won the round there. Kenny punching back young. No, no, no. Alex. Alex, you need Ken to stop. Kenny's winning. He's winning the round. <laughs> oh, my. Yo. You hit more women than me. Yeah, like I. S oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Clout looks like the baby if we was making a wish. <laughs> we was make a wish. Make a wish to baby. <laughs> Let's go. He's got trust fund child. Oi, oi, oi. Kenny throwing more verbal bombs than physical ones. The magic is... <laughs> 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 yes, not. What does that even mean? No, Ray got knocked out by me, not Ref. You need to fix you up. Got knocked I... out by a commentator. Oh, good shot by Kenny! Ooh. Here we go. This could be the turning point. No, no, Gab, I want, I want punch Boss Raymond. I, I, I want punch Raymond. Remember that. Session, I... Kenny's now in the driving seat. Yeah, I. Uh, oh, hell. Like KSI. Damn, bro. If I was sound like KSI, I would be happy, bro. Kenny needs to be a bit be more defensive, for the though. Here. Forge probably has a lot of stamina now from running away. Overhand, he's down! Oh, and he's put him down again. He's down, face first on the mat. What's that, Ray? Ooh, he needs trash Ooh, on the Fight about to continue. Boss didn't wave it to continue, but there we go. Alex, the fact that we're halfway through the fight night as well. Sorry, the fight as well. Like, <laughs> took him six rounds. Well, Ooh, launch it for oh! very... Overhand by both men. Kenny, the you reach back to actively try to. Uh, to Kenny gonna go for the uppercut. How many more nicknames are we gonna call out Kenny after this? I just want. Oh, I just want to know. Well, if I think based on this performance right now, he's gonna be Kenny Bomber Young. Oh, good overhand. I think Kenny the Champ Young. I feel like Kenny Bomber Young's actually coming through in this sixth round. He's dropped him about sixty health within this one round alone. I don't know what the scorecards are looking like. Oh, uh, there it is again! Oh, Kenny one Young! 1-3-0, one, 1-3-0, three, zero. One, three, zero, I'm calling it. One, three, this zero. is the bomber that we came to know and love. 1-3-0, this guy's not surviving this. I don't think he's going to make it out of this round here. Oh, oh! Right. Come here! Kenny stalking his prey. The Viper slithering. He's, call he's calling for it. Are we going to see an RKO? 
No. Watch out, watch out, watch out! <laughs> Overhand by oh, Kenny Young! Kenny's in the tank phase! Kenny's in the tank phase, he's going forward. Going forward, looking to land that overhand. That overhand could do it. Forge is out. Forge is out. Forge There's is no way. very low now. There it is! Oh, oh he's down. There at we the go. end of the round. The third KD. This was the third KD as well at the end of the round. It might be a TKO. Yeah, it is. If that is. That's it. Three. That's it. He's gone. He's gone. It's all over. He's won it. Not even a TKO. It's a direct oh, KO. It's a KO KO. It's a, it's a direct oh, I'm, KO. I'm no, he's got the RKO. You, you guys know, you guys know, if you get knocked down three times in a round, you lose. Yeah. Yeah. Is this That's gonna be a bit of TKO? He was... actually got. Violent. I didn't. I didn't say it. Zidge said it. No, I knew. Oh yeah. It was like well, that. Zidge said Mike. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, there wasn't much Kenny's Mike about it. it. Yeah. Oh, it's not even gonna count as a KO. It's directly TKO. Should have count, counted as a knockout. I reckon it will still be in uh, the knockout percentage. Well, it will because TKO counts as a knockout, but it's just yeah. technical. Indeed. Technical one. Gab, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he got the RKO instead, anyways. Yeah, maybe, maybe he stopped. Maybe he just stopped spam clicking once he heard that he lost the fight. Maybe yeah. that's what. New RBC on. Ring Magazine Heavyweight World Champion. Very Kenny. well deserved. Oh, he's. Bro, what is that hole? What can't is say that he hole? didn't deserve it. What is that? <laughs> what sort of title hold, bro? I think, I think you'll find if he clicks all the other options, it will fix. He's just a the crap. There we go. Kenny, after being called so many nicknames, has finally won it. There we go. Champion of the world celebrating with the 1500s. You can call them unsuccessful in pro wrestling, however, in RBC, they're near the top of the mountain. I mean, he's gonna have to make this quick because I'm pretty sure it's worth half his bedtime. Should have happened in RBC 1. It's true. He did have the potential. Beast Rider was so scared of him that he was. It's like a Christmas gift. He wants fishing. Kelly can't use the mic, yo. He wants fishy fury. Yo, fishy, speak Spanish, bro. Fishy, speak Spanish. Where you at? Ay, caramba. I love fishy. Lost Raimondo, of course, the Spanish Superman. What? Oh, yeah, right. He's yes, kind of Mediterranean. Yes. Well, Los Pol Wasn't that it's like chicken dish? Fried chicken? It, it means the chicken brothers. Oh. <laughs> Tango El Cinturon. Oh. Oh, it's the restaurant. I mean, guys, this was it. This was the last fight of the night. Absolutely brilliant night. I reckon fight of the night has to go for that. Indeed. Coming up next is RBC Podcast. I mean, Pro Sports Combat Podcast coming up next as well. Just be too sure to check, uh, tune in with Gabriel hosting Cruzaro and Khalid as well. Upcoming next. And also a small announcement. This might have been my last fight in RBC. If if so, I would like to thank you all for, sorry, last event. Uh, if so, thank you all for listening to me. Um, who knows, who knows, baby, Yakov, maybe. It's been always an honor. Thank you all for watching. Well, is it it's a very good night for everyone. It was always a great night, bro. What you wanted to see, maybe, maybe some of the fights didn't end the way we wanted. Uh, a couple of lag, laggy fighters there, maybe impacted some of the fights, but that really, 
isn't down to RBC. It's not down to what we have anything to do with. We can't fix.